Hi, everybody! Hi, everyone! Full house tonight! Because we're starting, finally, season three. Three. I'm holding up three. I'm trying to. Try my best, okay? I'm a janky 3D VTuber. We, we, we embrace the jank if my hands don't want to work, though. Hi, everyone! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening on your side of the garden. I am Lavi and Alrane, which are a species of feminine-looking plant girls that uh, tend to dine on uh, men in particular. We're carnivorous, uh, but that's okay. I usually end up drinking tea instead for the most part. Um, but I am around a lot of Ikemen a lot. You couldn't tell, but... Uh... So, yes, as I stated earlier, we're gonna be finally reading the third main season story of OG Obey Me, One Master to Rule Them All. That has started. And as per usual, we're going to be doing um, usually two chapters a stream. Um, I will also be reading the hard chapters if there are any during those lessons. Sometimes they don't have them all, sometimes they don't. My glasses look like mammons. They are, I stole them actually. So. <laughs> uh, I was like, I want glasses for certain times. I'll just take mammons. He'll be, a, he'll be a little salty about it, but he can't do nothing about it, you know? We just gotta tell him to sit. Can't touch us. Can't touch us at all. Um, but yeah, I also wanted to have a fresh new look. So that's one of the reasons why it took so long. Your girl is a full-time employee on top of doing VTubing and I still don't have enough money for chicken nuggies. So me and Mod Arcs work together on enhancing Lavi and stuff like that. Stella's also here, but she's trying to get in my lap as usual whenever I try to talk. But hopefully she'll go back to the cat camera in the upper corner. Oh, there she goes. Maybe she'll be a good little gremlin because I have the heat pad for her up there. So maybe she's she'll be more inclined to actually stay up there. Can't wait to see the scuff the stream will go through today. I'm hoping it's minimal. But if not, it's fine. We'll just have we'll just have to embrace it. But yeah. Thank you to everyone here live. Um, there's a lot of you this time, which is which is good. I'd love to have have you guys make it if you're able to to uh, to join us all. So hello to Yai, Arx, Michael, Crystal, Hiki, Fish, Izan, Ivy, Angela. It's Nom. Stella's back. Why are you talking so much, Mom? But, uh, hi. Hi, everyone. Glad to have you here with us. Yukina as well. I see that before Stella stepped on my keyboard. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Honey, I can't see everything if you keep... If you keep... Stella's gonna be the, the scuff, honestly. Stella's gonna be the scuff. I don't feel so good today. I'm sick. You can't feel my body sat and alone here in your room. But with Elavi and everyone, not anymore. That's right, Kizan. We'll hear... We'll be here... We'll be here on the side of the screen to try and keep you company, but I hope you get better soon. I saw you're playing Pokemon, Michael. Which one are you playing? Um, I want to get back and play the Pokemon Violet DLC on Twitch soon. But, but it'll have to be after I'm done playing Resident Evil 4. I feel like I'm going to finish that one first before I finish Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, she's in the lappies. Stella said, screw the heat pad. I want lappies. Can I get get her down here? Hi. 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 There she is. She's in the lapsies. Pokemon X. I played Pokemon X. Pokemon X was actually my return back to Pokemon after about a decade. Um, so... Also, along with the new look, uh, I wanted to let everyone know here that I have a poll in the community tab on my channel 
Um, we're polling to see what punishment uh, form I should be in for the next two weeks. So if you haven't voted, please, by all means, go ahead and, and vote down there. Choose my form. Uh, the punishment was for dying over a hundred times when playing Little Nightmares 2. Um, but I do have a bald head form. Even if we don't do that, I think I might turn that into a member's trigger. She doesn't want to look over here. What a butthead. And uh, Sheep V actually does exist. Let me, let me bring her out because uh, since we're going up to the human world, that means, that means we got to remember our roots. So we should probably also, there we go. Hi. We're going to have MC, our own MC sheep, my personalized MC sheep. Uh, this is actually a free model that you guys can use if you are interested in streaming and doing such things yourselves. The person who made this, their name is Milky Pan. So they made a free MC sheep you can customize. Uh, they've got they've got nice little expressions. They got the blushies. They've got the lovesies. They've got the oh, the stars. And did I have the other one here? And they've got the confused, which, considering all the shenanigans the brothers get us into, I I think I think those are some very good expressions Milky Ton gave us for this free MC sheep. Uh, good luck with the far fetched, Michael. So yes, we'll be having uh, an MC sheep with us joining us on this season's reading. And I actually. I actually have a jacket. I might want to put that on or else I might get cold. So hold on. I need to put that on too. Uh, it's this button. There it is. There it is. I, I can turn it on and I can turn it off. Ooh, fancy. We've gotten a little fancy here now that we're in season three. So that, I believe that is all the, that's all the special info I've got for you guys. So I am good to get this reading started. <laughs> Asmo! Asmo! Asmo's in his new... Asmo's also ready for new fashion. I like... I like this outfit of Asmo's. So I was like, we gotta... We gotta give... We gotta give this one to Asmo. Asmo helped dress me today. I'm giving kudos to Asmo. Still not over how pretty the jacket looks like. This jacket was a pain in the butt. I'm glad you enjoy it, Hiki. <laughs> okay. Oh, one second. Let me get let me let me let me get Satan out of the library so I can put him back in the library. You guys can see my track tracking. Y'all like my you like my tracking in the corner? Cause Stella's gargoyling now. Damn it. I have to strap this to my boobies every time I want my hands to move. That was like, did you, so did someone say bobbles? Bobbles. Welcome back, Yukina. Hello, hello. Glad to have you. Glad to have okay, you here have with help? us. Okay, we're gonna get started. Enough She's delays. There's been, a, there's been enough delays for a uh, reading season three. Gotta remember where I'm at. Okay, we need to go to 41. Less than 41. So season 3 is going to be less than 41 through 60 is what season 3 is all about. There it is. 41-1. Let's go. Welcome to Serenity Manor. IRL laughing, not clicking. Booba sounds better. You guys, do you guys prefer Booba or Bobby's? Bobby's, <laughs> Boobas or Bobby's? Uh, there's also T I T S. I actually was talking to a coworker the other day um, when I went on that uh, work trip to a chocolate factory, and they absolutely hate the word T I T S because uh, we were on the topic of moist. Moist is another word. People do not like. <clears throat> hey, 
Lavenark. There you are. Yeah. It's Solomon. Sorry I'm late. I encountered a few unexpected delays just as I was leaving. So, long time no see. How have you been? Uh, we're, we've been great. We got a new look. We've got a sheep. I can take my jacket on or off. I look a bit more realistic. My eyes like to bobble. Get in close. Look at the wiggle. See that? You like that, Solomon? Learn some magic. My eyes can... My eyes can jiggy. Jiggle. <laughs> Good. That's a relief. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. Truth be told, I was hoping that we could get together at this one cafe off of the main street, but... Oh, I need to turn the volume up. One moment. It's not at max. Is it? It is at max. My headphones not at max? I think it's my headphones. There we go. Oh yeah, I did end up getting Solomon's card. Oh, the bubble one. Congrats, fish. Good to hear. That's some good, good news. Cafe. Mm. Oh. It looks like they've closed for me remodeling. Too bad. They had really good coffee. Not a coffee person, though I'm secretly saying yes, thank goodness. So, have you been keeping up with all the homework I've given you? Wait, homework? <laughs> Was the homework me getting a new, new, uh, new update? A new upgrade? Was the, I, I sure hope that was the homework you were wanting me to do for the last six months, Solomon. It does require a higher level of skill than the assignments you got at RAD. Mm. But all of it is elementary, fundamental stuff that every sorcerer needs to know. So keep at it. The basics. I want you to learn how to summon demons. Once you've gotten the fundamentals down, I'll teach you summoning magic. Like full summoning magic? Hmm. I'm interested. I will study hard. Uh, I'm dying to see everyone from the Devil Thumb, so that's just extra motivation. Yes. <laughs> Well then, that should serve as excellent motivation why are we on the same wavelength already. <laughs> I completely forgot the story. All I remember is Nightbringer stuff. Okay, let me see if I can do a quick recap then, since it's been a, quite a bit since, since the last time I read Season 2. Um, the main thing about Season 2 was uh, because we ended up making a pact, with everyone in season one, that extra power on top of the fact that we aren't used or we weren't really able to control or handle all of that power from all seven of the brothers uh, being sent to us through the packs was causing instability among the three worlds, the celestial realm, the devil dumb, and the human world. So in the background of season two, um, things were like, bad things were happening Kind of like lakes were drying up, uh, earthquakes, big holes in the ground, etc., etc. So Diavolo was was busy, and he didn't want to tell Lucifer because he wasn't a hundred percent sure that we were the ones causing the issue. Um, until Solomon was like, you know, I can't can't hide this from you anymore. It's pretty important. He gave us one solution to fix that, which was the Night Dagger. Um, it has the ability to kill a demon. So <laughs> we basically had to be like, well, either we have to go out or a powerful demon that's pacted to us has to go out. And once Lucifer found out after his amnesia, he had an amnesia session. Uh... He was like, uh, no, I'm dying, not you. And then before he actually did the deed, Simeon was like, hey, yo, hold up. I'm about to marry this fool right in front of you and slipped the ring of light on our finger that he borrowed. <laughs> borrowed from the celestial realm. Uh, so we have the ring of light. 
which is actually I forgot to put that on my finger. I do have a ring of light I need to put on my finger for this reading session. I forgot. I forgot about that. Oops. But having the ring of light helps funnel the energy correctly through us. So that saved the chaos uh, which we were unknowingly causing and everything. We were rizzing the brothers up too much and literally destroyed the devil top. <laughs> yeah, while we were busy risen, Diavolo was investigating. Yeah, yeah, Lucifer's old ring. Yep. Yep. Then we had to go back because our stay wasn't technically uh I guess you could say it wasn't official because Diavolo hadn't like wanted to do another round two of the exchange program so this season we're in the human world uh learning to get good with magic that's what we're doing Simeon's technically now married to us I look I I, I, I took that as a proposal <laughs> I, t I took that as a proposal I I definitely did I have no shame of taking that as a proposal, even if he skipped all of the fancy words, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've been worried that you might be feeling depressed since getting back to the human world. You know, since things are suddenly so much quieter and less exciting without Lucifer and his brothers around. That's why I suggested that you take this babysitting gig. Mm babysitting you say i'm not very good with children so are you ready to head to the interview feeling nervous at all yeah i'm nervous i don't <laughs> you can't deal with the children i can deal with gremlins i can deal with gremlins that's why i have this giant furry log on in my lap Really? Because you look perfectly calm to me. I have chat with me, that's why I'm calm. Chat is my rock in the middle of a storm. Sally, you better be going back and staying over there, honey. I don't want this back and forth cat business. Let me readjust. Y'all like my PJs? Nice and comfy. I, if you expected me to dress up for streams, that's as dressed up as I am ever for streaming. And I love it. Oh, hats. Oh, crap. I forgot to turn on YouTube. Hang on. There we go. Thank you for the pats, Angela. All right. Here's the address of the people looking to hire you. Listen, Lavinark. Uh, what's up? Something wrong? What will you, will you, will you, will you get to say? Mm hmm. Sorry. Never mind. It's not important. I hate it when people do that. That's a pet peeve of mine. I don't care how dumb that thought is. You spit it out of your old sorcerer's head, Solomon. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. Matane. In any event, just do your best to have an arc. There's no need to worry. Now I'm a little worried when you say that. I know you don't mean to make me worried when you say that, but it's a reflex. You just make me worried when people say that. So, this is the address Solomon gave me. It looks nice and pleasant. Very rich. And wow, it's basically a mansion. It's gorgeous. The generic doorbell, though. You all have all this money, you can't have a specialized doorbell. Coming! Just a minute! I wonder who it could be. Y'all! Yeah. <laughs> How long has it been since we last saw them? It honestly feels like, especially if you're jumping from season two into season three, you didn't have absolutely no break. No break at all. Lavinark, welcome. That's an Asmo. 
That's a stylish asmo. Wait. Wait, what? Did we just close the door on him? <laughs> no, you should open- we should definitely open the door. Huh? What's going on? I thought... Lavenark was here? Uh. Yeah, what's the deal? I heard the doorbell ring. <laughs> Sate, <laughs> what is that, Ascot? <laughs> Levy looks like he's joined the pro leagues. The pro gamer leagues. But Satan, honey, I mean, at least... At least it's not blue and yellow, no. It's like a teal. Teal and yellow. Teal and teal and yellow. I don't know. I don't know which one is more egregious. This outfit or his usual outfit. Levy, you're okay in my book. Levy looks comfy. Levy, Levy looks like what I should technically dress um, when I stream. Not just go straight to PJs. Satan has negative drip. I don't even think that's a tie. I'm pretty sure that's like a silk scarf or something. This is why Satan's not ever been doing any work for mo for Modulish. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, it did. And it was definitely Lavenark, but you know, scared the bejesus out of us. <laughs> I think maybe Lavenark was just taken aback by the sight of my own beautiful face. I mean, my sheer beauty can be overwhelming at times. <sighs> Just keep telling yourself that, asthma. <laughs> Dude, learn to put your arm in the other jacket pocket before you say something like that, please. Oh. Lavenark. Hey, Fuel! Just get back from the gym? You sure look like you did. You got that chain! You got that chain! You got the chain! Where'd you get that chain? What are you doing hanging around outside the front door? Hmm? Aren't you going in? Okay, Belfie also looks super comfy. Too. And I actually kind of like his color coordination a little bit better than Levy's. Hmm. Hmm. Belfie and Levy have to fight for the comfiest outfit. Mm -hmm. uh, I knew it! It is you, Lavenark. Oh, you have no idea how much I've missed you. No idea! Ah, more. You're, you're late, Lavenark. I'm, I've been hanging around waiting for you to show up since early this morning, you know? Huh? Lavenark isn't late, Levy. You just decided to sit around waiting all day for no- all day long for no good reason. Man had paralysis, okay? I understand. It happens. It happens. Oh. Uh. Lavenark's essentially on- t on time. Uh, well. Hmm. 32 seconds late, I guess. But still. You guys are adorable. Uh, we were supposed to make it back from our shopping trip before Lavenark got here. Naiva. It's your fault we're late, Beale. If you hadn't insisted on stopping at every opportunity, we would have made it on time. Actually, I think Beale did you guys a good thing. Can you imagine if they didn't show up like this? We might have just been standing outside still. It's not my fault. <laughs> Blame all the amazing food they have here in the human world. Everything looks so good. I couldn't help it. Well, I guess there's really only one thing to do at this point. Are we gonna yell at them? 
We're gonna yell at them. We're gonna yell at them. Stella's loafing. There we go. There's the eepy cat. Eep. Sleepy eepy cat cam. <clears throat> All right, well. <clears throat> Day! Why are you blushing? Why, why are you blushing? Wait, why? What? Well, they kind of just got... Th they literally showed up here without telling us and told Solomon to, to send us the here. And Solomon made us come here thinking we were going to be doing a part-time job. So I, I figured this was a warranted hello. Why did it only show Belfie and Beale though? Okay, that's 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 a little that's a little hmm. Honestly, I, they they should have showed everybody. Uh, okay, well, After Effects. There we go. I'm still in pain. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was a knee-jerk reaction. We did do it quite a bit in Season 2. So, uh... Yeah, sorry. Uh, I guess sorry. <sighs> you know... You need to understand what effect you yelling stay has on us. Though we're clear, I had nothing to do with this whole surprise idea. Asmo and Mammon were the ones behind that. Yeah, the party people? Expected. So, if you want to yell at someone, yell at them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! Asmo with the baby talk, ooh woo! Oi! Don't you sawy me. <laughs> nah. <laughs> but think about it for a second. We get to spend our break up here in the human world, right? This is a spe special opportunity. Oh, yeah. Speaking of their quote-unquote quote break for this season, I think that means the Obey Me anime, uh, timeline-wise, takes place before this and after season two. Not entirely sure. But, uh, if I had to guess... We couldn't just call Avanark up and announce we were here, could we? Yes, you could. That would be no fun at all. We had to make it interesting. Well, and now you got yelled at for it, so... Wait, it's Asmo. Asmo probably is kinky when it comes to that. You see, Lavenark, we've never actually spent an extended period up here in the human world. Mm. We were hoping you could teach us how things work here. So, we got in touch with Solomon and asked him to contact you. <sighs> Though, I should note that Solomon wasn't too keen on the whole surprise Lavenark idea. I feel bad for him, getting dragged into it like that. Wait, oh, one of the right brothers there. feels sad for Solomon? <laughs> it would be Satan. Okay, don't everyone blame me. Sure, I was the one who suggested surprising Lavenark, but it was Mammon who really took the idea and ran with it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to kill Mammon. <laughs> That's a little too far. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. How's Mammon doing? Where is he? Huh? If this was also his fault. Huh? Mammon? Oh, he's good. Oh, wait, I take that back. I guess he's actually not so good at the moment. What? <laughs> Help. Did he get strung up already? Nanda. Uh. Come on! Someone get me down from here! Damn it! Lucifer that- Oh. You got a potty mouth already. <laughs> uh, 
Joseph or that bastard. I mean, couldn't you give me the whole string me up and hang me from the ceiling thing or rest at least while we're here in the human world? I'm a demon, not a decoration to hang from your chandelier. Oh, the chandelier. So. I mean, sure. Maybe I should have ga shouldn't have gambled away all of our money at a casino as soon as we got <laughs> here. Hi, Rika. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Welcome in. Hope you're doing good. These noises. The, the arcs. Get your head out of the gutter. It's the same noise they use when Belfi was climbing up these stairs in season one. <laughs> but but we managed to managed to avoid losing the house in the end, right? All's well that ends well. Yeah, what exactly did Lucifer have to do to not lose this mansion? Come on, I haven't seen Lavinark in forever. I can't let the humans see me in this state. Too late. Too late. Excuse me, who are you calling the human? Hmm? 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 You think you can act tough now in season three? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. No, no one! Forget it! Also, who said you could listen in on my private conversation with myself? You are in a public... Semi-public part of the house. Oi! Um, anyway, down to business. It's time for your interview. What? Wait! Wait, did you actually tell Solomon it had to be a babysitting jo job? Are you the one that said it's babysitting? <laughs> no. You came here to apply for the babysitting gig, right? Oh my... Oh my god. The babysitting is specifically just for Mammon. <laughs> <laughs> well then, you gotta pass the interview, don't ya? That's just common sense. You sure are big for a baby. Mammon's the baby. Oi. Hey, don't be stupid. I'm not the baby. I'm the one hiring you. Are you saying you're the dad? <laughs> <laughs> now the great mammon's about to find out whether you're still as sharp as you used to be, or whether you've gotten lazy and complacent here in the human world. Oh. All right, first question. Lucifer, your employer, has hidden his sweet, adorable younger brother's credit card, so his younger brother comes to you asking where it is. So, what would a good babysitter do in this situation? <laughs> Who is this adorable younger brother? Man, I want to ask that. Him paying us? Yeah, no, I don't. Don't think this is going to be a paying job, unfortunately. Don't answer to someone who's hanging upside down. <laughs> I'm gonna take a sippy of water really quick. I thought you were you thought he was gonna ask for the location. Hmm. Kinda kinda is. Telling him where the card is is kinda telling him the location. All right, let's pass this interview quickly. Tell him where the card is. Oh. Right? See, you know what's up. Every baby sh a babysitter should be like you, Lavinark. All right, you passed the interview. I accept you as our new babysitter. That was... Wait. There aren't any more questions? Anyway, get me down from here. We'll continue this once I'm not dangling by my feet. I'll help you. I'll, I'll help make sure you're not dangling by your feet. I I have the power of gravity on my side, so stay! What the? Are you crazy? That's how you're getting me down? Do the third option? I'll go back um, once we clear this, and I'll, I'll choose the third option. I'll do... I'll do request. I'll do request. Yeah! 
Yeah, that's right, loser. Ugh. Itte. That hurts. I landed on my back. Ano na? Like, couldn't you have found some other way of getting me down? Maybe. 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 But I'm so happy to see you again. Can't believe we had to get you out of trouble as soon as we saw you again, huh? 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 Duh! What's the big idea? Just hugging me out of nowhere, huh? Uh... Anosa. Yeah, big dummy. I feel the same way. Damn it. I missed you. I really missed you, Lavenark. All's well that ends well, I guess. Hey, yo, mammon with the fit. I know, right? He's got he's got a really good outfit too. I was like, that's why I was like, I can't be in this. I can't be in this stuffy. This stuffy white maiden dress for this season. I gotta, I gotta look trendy with everyone. Um, quickly, uh, it's your fault for startling me like you did, Asmo. No, you got startled over nothing. <laughs> what are you talking about? Asmo jump scares for real. Asmo jump scare can. Asmo jump scare can hurt you. <laughs> Uh oh, that's my that's my hotkey. I, I'm gonna kill kill me in question mark. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry. There's no need because he's already been taken care of. That is so ominous, dude. <laughs> hey, Mammon. Long time no see. Yeah. Scared you. Boy. Scared you. Scared you. MC jump scare. Where exactly is the baby? Oi. <laughs> the baby? You mean the babies? Because there are six of them and they're all giant pains in the butt. <laughs> wow. He literally is calling everyone a baby aside from himself. Who is this adorable younger brother? As per the request. Uh... What? You're supposed to be answering the questions, not asking them. Hey, hey, interviews can work both ways. Whenever you're interviewing for a job, you definitely got to make sure to ask questions yourself. Anyway, get me down from here. Fine, I'll just do the regular stay, you dingus. Yeah! Still spicy. Oh, still spicy. <laughs> That was still pretty spicy, but I missed you. Huh. <laughs> uh, almost up. Then you could have been gentler getting me down from the ceiling. <laughs> he pout. He pout. Okay, well, that was the answer if we asked the question. He didn't actually answer it because, of course, he wouldn't because he's a tsundere. Favorite places. Mm -hmm. All right, then. I suppose I should start by giving our new babysitter a tour of the house, shouldn't I? After all, this place is as big as the House of Lamentation, and we can't have you getting lost, can we? So, follow me. <laughs> like, there are so many doors in this place, right? So, it won't be easy learning where each of them leads. But, make sure you remember this one here, okay? Because this is the door to my private bathroom. Just wait until you see inside. You're not going to believe it. What? Hi. Asmo, I'm not seeing a difference. Ta-da! <laughs> Unbelievable, right? Uh, I mean, it's... Yeah, it looks like your devil dumb bathroom. The third one, though. It's just a bathroom, Asmo. <laughs> That's right. Though, technically, it doesn't just look like my devil dumb bathroom. It is my devil dumb bathroom. 
When we came here, we had Barbatos create portals to our favorite rooms, you see. Like each of our bedrooms, for example. And then I had him connect my bathroom, and Belfi requested the planetarium, and so on. What did you pay Barbatos with to get him to do all of that? That seems like a lot of work. <laughs> so, we can still head to our favorite spots whenever we want, even here in the human world. To be honest, I wanted to have a portal to a club too, but Barbato said no. Now that's just asking for extra. I'm honestly surprised he did as much as he already did for you. Oh, that reminds me, Lord Diavolo and Barbatos said that they stopped by to visit us at some point. Yes, give us the side characters. Um, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna go back and ask all of these questions. So, but let's go with the one I picked first because I am the Diavolo simp. Is Diavolo well? Lord Diavolo, yeah. About the same as always, I'd say. Um, except... Ever since you left, he's seemed just a tad bit sad to me. Ooh. Ooh. Um, anyway, enough about that. No, tell me more. Tell, tell me more. Does he... Does he stop in the middle of his busy work schedule to just stare off into space? missed you so, so, so much, Lavinark. You have no idea. Hey, after being away so long, there must be something you'd like to do to me, right? <laughs> well then, go right ahead. I'm waiting. Are you waiting? I like the kiss on the nose. The kiss on the nose is cute. Uh, I'm only gonna pick one kind of kissies, so I'm gonna pull. Do we do regular kissies or do we do do nose? And I will take a moment for hydration. Uh, fish, the others will funnel in as we progress in due time school today and don't know if you should go or not you haven't been able to go for three days it's not like you well i say if you're not feeling good keys on you should definitely rest i know sometimes it's hard to, to get in the rest that you need because the world keep keeps going but I wouldn't overexert myself. You, you definitely need the rest in order to help get better faster. <clears throat> okay. I'm good to continue. Hi, Kai! Welcome in! Glad to have you here with us. We're finally, finally starting the next season, season three, in the human world. Hope you're do doing well today. All right, let me end this poll. Which kisses are we giving, Asmo? We are doing lips. All right, all right. You're right, Asmo. I really want, I really want to give you a kissy. that we got the asthma approval i've dreamed of doing that every single day since we've been apart you know it's all i could think about i love you so much i can barely contain myself i can't take this any longer there you are finally yeehaw it's my lucifer probably oh no it's <laughs> I've been looking for you, Lavinock. You thought, you thought, you thought it was Lucifer, but it was me, Satan. Cowboy Satan. <laughs> Oops, I inadvertently made fun of my favorite brother. <laughs> 
Satan changed those clothes right now. You don't sound like yourself. Just wait. Uh, Satan, why'd you have to interrupt us? And with that accent, too. Things were just about to get good. <sighs> right. That's what I thought. Which is why I interrupted you, actually. You don't need to see the whole house now, Lavinark. We can do that little by little. Right now, there's something else I want to show you. <laughs> Lucifer got a lot a little smaller and more awful fashion sense. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Come on, follow me. Eh? Yeehaw. What? So you're just going to steal Lavinark right out from under my nose? Honestly, Satan, I can't believe you. I mean, I can't believe you at all because of how you dress, but I really can't believe you. <laughs> I know, Fish. I thought it was Lucifer, too. That's exactly like something he would say. Hey, I need to go back and ask Asmo how the other characters are really quick. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh... Speaking of unbelievable, I don't get it. What's so unbelievable about it? Do that really quick. Eh? What's so unbelievable about it? Are you serious? Don't tell me you've forgotten what the inside of the House of Lamentation looks like. <laughs> you realize the House of Lamentation is just Asmo's bathroom? <laughs> okay, okay. What about Simeon and Luke? How are they doing? Hey, Simeon and Luke like the inquiry. Okay, I guess if you ask, depending on which one you ask, you get points. Hmm, good question. I wonder, I haven't heard anything from them, but still, hey, what? That's a little concerning. As long as we're here, they really should con come visit, right? Anyway. <laughs> No! <laughs> oh, since we're here, let's go ahead and kiss him on the nose, too. Asmo, you lucky son of a gun, you get two kissies. What? <laughs> you had me all excited, and then you went and kissed me on the nose? You're such a tease, Laughing Ark. <laughs> but that's just another thing I love about you. <laughs> Alright, Satan. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 I will get rid of the accent. Alright, we still have to ask about Barbatos. And since it really seems like they were, they have mostly been in contact recently, out of everyone, is uh, Barbatos. Yes, he's a... If there's any questions about other characters, I'll go back and automatically choose them. So, how is Barbatos doing? <laughs> it's like the characters can hear us. <laughs> it's a little weird that we can choose options that involve them and they end up liking it, uh, even though they're not in the same scene as us. He's the same old Barbatos, as always. So perfect. Immaculate. Actually, I sort of wish that wasn't true. He should mix things up a bit every now and again for variety's sake. What are you- What are you talking about? He's perfect. Hush. Hush. Shh. 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 Shut up and get kissed, loser. We can read the other's chats. So that's fair, Yukina. That's really fair. That's actually so funny and kind of a loophole considering all of season two was uh, Diavolo hiding a secret and Lucifer not, not being able to figure him out. But here we are able to gain affection from characters even if they're not in the same scene and the fact that we're able to see chats we're not a part of. <laughs> 
Honestly, I don't believe Asmo. I really can't let him out of my sight for an instant, can I? Eh, I guess I don't blame him, though. Everyone's been causing such a racket since we heard you were coming yesterday. Oh. Uh. So, check it out. This is the room I wanted to show you. Is it your <laughs> book room? I have a feeling you're going to like it. Books? Am I going oh, It's not the book room! What is this? Pretty amazing, huh? It's a home theater. It was my idea to put one in the house. Good thinking. Now we don't ever have to go outside. COVID? What's that? If we get another strange virus that happens, like the vampire special event. <laughs> I think Barbatos fell for us last. I think you're right, Fish. Since he's so disciplined and he he he's the kind of character that doesn't want to be in the spotlight, doesn't want to influence things. I can see that. I still can't get over Satan in the Nanami clothes. <laughs> Not the Nanami clothes. Ayo, hey, but that one scene with Nanami. <laughs> oh. All of the equipment, the acoustics, it's all top notch. That means we can even have a bigger horror movie experience with Mammon. <laughs> Last weekend, we actually had a zombie movie marathon in here. <gasps> Without me, I'm a little hurt. I would have loved to have seen that. You, wait, you've been in the human world since last week. I think that's a little too long to not have told us. Nanami pull my hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. We should have gotten in touch with you sooner. <sighs> Asmo and Mammon insisted that we keep it a secret until they could work out a way to surprise you. Bunch of losers. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Why don't the two of us reserve this room sometime and watch a movie together? Are we really gonna watch? Naturally, you can pick the movie. I'll also whip up something nice for us to eat. That would be nice. Mm. That would be nice. How does that sound? What can I do to put you in a better mood right now? Give me kissy! Give me- Oh, meow like a cat! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh man oh man I'm, I'm picking both these options guys don't worry but give me one second stella left her her leaf i want to see i'm going to make sure that she doesn't want out i don't want stella zoomies later so give me one one moment i will i will be be right back push this up disconnect myself too so hang on cat you know lucifer is gonna be the last one to appear because he wants to make the last lasting impression ha <laughs> but dumb tush wait where's my did i not Where's my hotkey for the Where's my hotkey for the jokes? Damn it. Oh, some of my toggles turned off. Was it with the update? <laughs> I think it was with the update. Wait, I have to go through the Vignon update and make sure all of my things are checked. That's why my tea table disappeared last time. Dude. Okay, Stella's out, so I'm gonna turn off the cat cam before we continue. I love the drum, it's so good.
Okay. I'm gonna do the cat meow, because I want to end with kissing all of the boyzos. So, meow like a cat, that'll make- that'll definitely make everyone happy. <laughs> you just enjoy making me do this sort of thing, is that it? Yes. Yes! Yes, you got me. You got me. You you got you got me. You got me. Yep. That's that's what we like to do. Sorry. So do it. Do it. Do do it. Fine. If you insist. Yay! Do it. Nyong. Perfect. Don't you dare tell anyone I did that, okay? Me and chat. Me and chat. We gotta keep it on the down low. <laughs> ah. Ah. I almost forgot to mention. I went ahead and assembled a collection of movies I thought you'd like. I really enjoyed picking them out, actually. It was fun thinking about what might appeal to you. So, what genre are you into right now? Um, oh gosh. Shark movies, superhero movies, cat documentaries. He's a fashion disaster, but he's adorable. I agree, Silvar. <laughs> they went the extra mile to make sure he recorded that. I think uh, Shinya Sumi-san was definitely on board with making those cat sounds. <laughs> so, let's see. Um, I'm gonna pick cat documentaries when we go back and actually give him kisses that he deserves. So... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go with superhero movies. Uh, I think the last time I went to the theaters was for some Spider-Man, I think, so... Aside from Mario. Mario. I do like your human world superhero flicks, but the ones we have in the Devil Dumb are pretty good as well, you know? There's Devil Dumb superhero flicks? Dude. Like Captain Devil, for instance, and Dr. Grey Shadow. <laughs> Captain Devil. Captain America? Dr. Grey Shadow? Dr. What's the what is what is our doc doctor uh superheroes? Isn't there Doctor Fate? I think there's a Doctor Fate. Hmm. Oh, also, I worked especially hard on the sound system. Check it out. Devil Man! <laughs> Devil Man's their superhero. Oh my gosh. Uh who's yelling for Satan? Not Asmo, is it? Who would be yelling? Who would be yelling? Mammon? Mammon? Satan! 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 Who is it? Oh, it's Levy! Oh, Levy. <laughs> Help! It's an emergency! But the sound system... Uh. What do you mean, it's an emergency? What are you going on about, Levy? Doctor Strange, yeah, okay, yeah. Doctor Strange, I need to, I need to watch the new Doctor Strange. I also liked his, his, uh, intro and stuff. No time to explain. Just, there's trouble in the kitchen. Hurry, you've got to do something. Hmm. Kso. Fine. I'll go to the kitchen happy, but not before I cuss about it. <laughs> so... Shit. Yes, now go and hurry. Ugh, I don't believe this. Trouble in the kitchen? Blame it on B. Uh, so anyway, something bad's happening in the kitchen, you were saying? Huh? Something bad? No. I mean, it's nothing major. Sure, you could say we have a minor problem, but don't worry, everything's going to be okay. I just noticed we're alone. So, um, 
Want to see what the outside looks like? Wait, what? This otaku is asking us to go outside and touch grass? What? What are you- what? Wait, <laughs> So anyway, have you had enough of the inside of the manor? I can take you outside. <laughs> Alright, go back and give Satan kisses and, and, and be interested in cat documentaries. Uh, last weekend. Hmm? What? Are you upset that we didn't get in touch with you as soon as we got here? Yeah, I kinda am, actually. Huh. <sighs> Okay. Thank you for your performance earlier, Satan. Now give me a kissy. Please. Kissy. Kissy! <laughs> is that all? Well... Wait, what do you mean, is that all? <laughs> we could change this. We can change the direction if you want to. Hmm. The entire time we were apart, I couldn't stop thinking about how much I wanted to hold you in my arms like this. Ah! How much longer do you think it'll be before you learn summoning magic? Well, I will stay up overnight so I can learn how to summon you at 3 a.m. Guess I'll have to ask Solomon to help you earn your stripes as a sorcerer fast. <laughs> Because then we'll be able to see each other whenever we want, right? Ah. Uh. The way every brother says it differently is still so good. Uh. Okay, cat documentaries. Hmm? Wait, what? You have documentaries about cats in the human world? Do you want to stay here with me? Oh, I want to see these documentaries. No, I have to see them. Actually, let's watch them right now. Yes! Our schedule's now full. We're watching cat documentaries. We're watching them. No, you cannot stop us, Levy. Stop! Don't take him away! Uh. Uh, what's going on? What's, what's going on? We were gonna watch cat documentaries. Huh? Um... Well, how do I put it? Let's just say there's a bit of a problem, but it's something Satan can handle on his own. Yeah. Are you lying? Are you lying? <laughs> Levy, are you being sneaky? That doesn't sound confident. Rooms full of memories. Oh, that's... that's nice. So, this is the pool. It was seriously hard choosing a house for us here in the human world. Asma was like, It has to have a pool or I'm not going. Huh. And everyone else began making their own demands too. Eventually, Lucifer flipped out and started yelling. I mean, seriously, they're all so selfish. Like, I'm happy wherever. As long as Henry's here with me and I can play games online, that's all I need. I, yeah, yeah, okay, I feel that. But a pool, it's it's just an extra nice luxury. I wouldn't complain about it, so like. But also, if, if you don't, if I don't have to do the work of picking out where we're living, that's the main, that's my main thing. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to do the, I don't want to do the, the plans to move. The plans to move. You're making me jelly, jelly of the 1.7 grim. <laughs> Sorry, Yukina. I, it's the commitment to log in daily. That's how it, that's how it piles up. Uh, oh, wait, so you did bring Henry then, right? How's Henry doing? Do you have Henry with you? Mm. Oh, he's good. I think he's grown a little bit lately. Oh, hey, want to go see him? Come on, you have to. Who Levy's room? Mm. I'm so glad Barbatos created a portal to my room. Because it means that even though I'm in the human world, Henry and I can still be together. <laughs> oh, 
hey, dinner's not for a little while, right? We should play some games. I like your proposition. I mean, sure, we've been playing online together since you got back to the human world. We definitely like to play some Final Fantasy XIV, if I don't say so myself. <laughs> but nothing beats a bit of great gaming in my room, right? You know what? He's speaking the truth. I do prefer to play games in the same room as people. I wish, I wish they weren't so focused on trying to force everyone to buy their own console and getting rid of split screen co-op. Dang it. All right, let's do it. Whoa! All right, time for some games. <laughs> You know, I always have so much fun when we're together. Like, what is it about you? I mean, we haven't even started playing yet, so why am I enjoying myself so much? Wow, just being together with you is fun. There's something so wonderful about it. Nerd, nerd. I love you, lovey. I have to say it, because you won't. Huh? I love me. <laughs> Shut up and kiss me. Are you trying to give me a heart attack? You can't just k k kiss me out of nowhere like that. Well, no one else is gonna do it. No one else is gonna make the move. I have to, you know, like, prepare myself, like, mentally. Otherwise, it'll be over before I even know what hit me. You just kiss Levy too much, he ends up, he ends up passing out. Okay, so, go ahead. Wait, we already kissed. Wait, are you saying you want another one? I'm mentally prepared now, so let's try that one more time. Uh-oh. Uh, I knew it. I figured I'd find you here, Levy. And the Belfie cuck. <laughs> Belfie cuck. Uh, Belfie. You've got a job to do, don't you, Levy? One you still haven't finished? Uh. Go on. Back to work. Uh. Uh, fine. Lavinark, we'll have to game later. I'm a little upset. I'm a little sad, actually. <laughs> We're getting whirlwinded around so quickly. <laughs> Come on, Lavinark. Let's go. <laughs> you still haven't seen the whole house yet, right? I'll show you around. Lavinark, what do you think of this look? Oh, your clothes? It's not weird, is it? Do I look like a proper human? Are you trying to fit in? Oh my goodness, I can't believe he wants to pass as a human. You've gone a long way, sleepy sir. You look great. Very stylish. Where do you shop, actually? I'm curious. Really? Thanks. <laughs> I have to say, I sort of like hearing you compliment me like that. Somebody mumbling in the background. And. Which means, hey, you're too loud. We can kind of hear you. Hmm? I hear voices coming from somewhere. What is this anyway? Like, can you eat it? Oh, wait, are they in the kitchen? Mammon, are you telling me you've never seen an octopus before? Well, it says here that you can boil it, grill it, and even eat it raw, as long as it's fresh. Wait, are they trying to- Oh, wait, they've never really used human ingredients yet. I just realized. <laughs> I have fun with that. I hope the op octopus doesn't stick to any of you, Mammon. <laughs> Mammon's gonna get attacked by an octopus. You want to know if it's edible? Well, I could always just eat it. Then we'll know for sure. Whoa! 
Hey, don't eat that. Seriously, don't. Ugh, you know, if you eat any more of our groceries, we won't be able to make anything at all. Lavenark, don't do that. Belphegor is speaking quietly into my ear. Hmm. No listening in on their conversation. Come on, let's go. Your room's this way. Home sweet home. I, well, room sweet room. I wouldn't have it any other way. And here we are. Your room. Really brings back memories, huh? As you can see, we had Barbatos create a portal to your devil thumb room. Same as ours. You're going to sweep, sweep, sweep. You're going to clean, right? You're also going to sleep. <laughs> Flirty flirt option. I'd rather sleep with you, Belfi. Why'd you have to bring my room back? I'd rather just rotate rooms with the brothers here, you know? Well, I'd love it if we could share a room too, naturally. <laughs> but you realize that if you get me, you get Peel as a bonus, right? A nice bonus. <laughs> A nice bonus. Nice. Nice. Yes. Yes, I do. I definitely do. You're not called the attic sandwich for nothing. You know, there's just something about this room. I like it. I really like it, actually. Even after you went back to the human world, I came here often to nap. He's like a cat. It's like, sleeping in your bed made me feel as though I was sleeping together with you. But I wasn't the only one who used your room, actually. My brothers hung around in here all the time as well. Which made it impossible to relax in peace and quiet. <laughs> Come on, Lavenark. I have a seat right here. Why don't you sc scoot in a little closer? Yeah, right here is good. I'm just going to use your lap as a pillow for a while. I hope you didn't have any other plans. <laughs> okay, well... Hmm? I think I'd rather give him... Head pats? I know he like head pats. Let's do head pats. Can we yeah. give the man some head pats? If you keep doing that, I feel like you're going to put me into put me to sleep in no time flat. Was that not your goal? Hey, keep running your hand over me like that. All right, all right. Pinch his cheek or tickle? Nah, he requests the patsies. We give the man the patsies. I love the way your hand feels. So nice and warm and soft. I love you, Lavenark. And you have no idea how much. I came here to the human world just so I could see you, you know? Because I wanted to feel your touch, just like this. Mm, it's been a long time since I felt like this. I've got to say, getting to rest my head in your lap definitely beats napping in an empty bed. Hmm. Well, you did go out someone, somewhere with Veal today? I kinda overheard that conversation. You went to get food. Ingredients. Yeah. Going places with Veal is tiring, though. He wants to eat everything in sight, which means it takes forever to get anywhere. By the way, I saw this truck driving around earlier. It was playing music and someone was selling ice cream out of it. So what's up with that? Is the ice cream they sell magic? Does your mouth transform into a musical instrument when you eat it or something? <laughs> the gullibleness. You have a good, you have a creative imagination, Belfi. <laughs> the human world really is a fascinating place. I'd like to get some of that magic ice cream with you sometime, Lavenark. We can eat it together. Oh, 
That was precious, but where's my kisses? Where's my kisses? Let me double check. I have to check the fairness meter. I'm doing this. I'm doing this in the name of fairness. Uh, cheek? If I caress your cheek? <laughs> that feels nice. Okay, 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 okay. I'm, I'm going to tickle you. Give me a kiss, I'll tickle you. Kisses or tickle? <laughs> what are you... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> mm. Hey, come on, why'd you start tickling me out of nowhere? Because I haven't gotten your kissies. Give me kissies, Belfi! <laughs> Where'd you go earlier today? Hmm? Oh, just out shopping. <laughs> just shopping, but ice cream. By the way, ice cream. Are we serious? Are we not getting Belfi kissies today? We're not getting Belfi kissies for a welcome back? <laughs> Guys, we're close. We are close, bet. Bet we're gonna see Beale, and then we're gonna see Lucifer. <laughs> Lucy's simps. Come on, Belfi, you got you got one last opportunity. Don't mess this one up. I'm gonna pinch your cheek. Duh. Hey, why'd you do that? Don't tease me. Dude really said no. I'm too sleepy uh, for kissies. I really just want to lay down. <gasps> oh, I'd rather lay down in your lap. That's better than kissies. You know what's better than good? <laughs> A really good sleep. <laughs> he really said, party on the balcony. <laughs> Thems are some clicky clacky heelsies. Beal, you're wearing heels? I thought you'd be wearing like tennis shoes. <laughs> Hi, Beal. It's already nighttime. Oh, hey. No. Are you awake now? I guess we fell asleep with Belfi. Hmm. Where, where's Belfi? Wait, how are we down here if we were sleeping? Huh? Ah. Uh. He was asleep. So I just left him where he was. Wait, you just steal us away from Belfi? <laughs> 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 I went looking for you and found you asleep in your room with Belfi. So I took you with me and left him there. <laughs> Yo! Belfi will never know what took us away from him. I tried to wake you up, but you were out cold, so I decided I'd just pick you up and carry you, which is why you're in my arms. Oh! We're being bridled carried by Bill? Oh, that's nice. That's a good way to wake up. Sorry, Belfi. Uh. You know, when I picked you up, I couldn't help wondering. Is it just me, or have you lost a little weight? Have you been eating enough since getting back to the human world? Uh, is it just me, or have you gained weight, Beal? That's fine if he get, gains weight, it's just some more muscle. I think I've been eating enough, though. Um, I think I've, I think I've ate okay. I had pizza. I've had pizza. I've had pizza and cheesecake. Does that qualify? Does that live up to your expectations, Beal? Ah. Uh. Oh, okay. I guess I'm just imagining it. Oh. Mm. No, it's not my imagination. You've definitely lost weight. I can tell. See? Especially right here. Why are you... Why are you... Why are you... Why are you... Why are you, why are you poking me? Huh? Where? 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 Where are, you, where are you telling? Where? Okay, Beale, I see you. <laughs> the only type of kidnapping I'd accept. Me too. Hey man, that tickles. 
<laughs> hey, don't squirm like that. I'll end up dropping you. Alright, fine. I'll stop. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. I just wanted to see you laugh, that's all. Oh, so you did it intentionally. Shame on you. <laughs> so, what are we going to do now? You, I'm in your arms. You're talking to me. Ah. Uh. There's somewhere I want to take you. But first I need to grab some party crackers. Party crackers? Huh. Okay, down you go. Aw. Wait here for a minute. I have to find the party crackers, and then we'll be going. They should be around here somewhere. Crawl into bed. Look under the bed. I'm gonna be cheeky and crawl into bed. Maybe we can yoink him in with us. Or at the very least, he'll have to go looking for us, too. Hey, hey, hey. Eh? What's wrong? Are you cold? In that case, you should pull the sheets over you. Here. You tucking us into bed? Both the bed and the sheets smell like veal. It's really nice. <laughs> uh-huh. Found them. Lavenark, they're right over. Aw. Suddenly and unexpectedly, my eyes meet his. He's only inches away. Yes! We get to kiss Bill! Yes! I want to kiss you. Please. I... want to kiss you, too. Mm. Mm. Uh-oh. I'm starting to feel hungry. But not in the way I normally feel hungry. Because it's not food I want right now. Lavenark, I really missed you. Hey, what? What? I just got back. Everything is ready. Beal, where are you? Hurry up and bring Lavenark here. No. 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 We're not going anywhere. You lost your chance! You lost your chance! Do you know how hard it is to- to be romantic with Beale? This is our- this is like a one in a million, like, chance, dude. <laughs> it's gonna- it's gonna be a bit. Kiss, kiss, fall in love, yes! Beal, you didn't see that. Beal, no, we're not going! I put my foot down and tell you to stay. Ah! Lucifer! Lucifer did it! Lucifer did- Lucifer did the cuck here. Dang! All oh, the dang Lucifer simps in here right now. Alright, we're going, we're going, we're- We're going, he's coming! Ooh! Yeah. Fancy deck and fancy decorations. Oh, uh, you're finally here. <laughs> finally here. Ooh, who's talking? We're at the very end of this first lesson. This is the first time you've appeared. What do you mean? We're the ones finally here. Guys, can you believe this? Can you believe this joker? <laughs> We were getting pretty tired of waiting on you, Lavenark. <laughs> it's Steve Jobs! <laughs> <laughs> Lucifer did fully embrace his, like, old man-like aesthetic in this outfit, though, not gonna lie. <laughs> The glasses really work for him, though. Uh, I really like, um, uh, under-rim glasses. My glasses? 
used to be under a rim, but they're so hard to find. I don't know why. I think they're the most stylish type of glasses, in my opinion. But there's not very many ways to get them. But I had to go with uh, above rim. Above the rim glasses is what I have. Ah. <laughs> Lavinark, we want to officially welcome you to the house. Say hello to your home away from home, Serenity Manor. Oh, yo, confetti! Yo, confetti! Did I? Where's my confetti? There it is! The confetti! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really wanted to go see you as soon as we arrived, but then we decided to do the whole surprise thing, so I couldn't tell you we were here. It was awful. What are you talking about? You and Asmo decided to do the surprise based on what Satan said. Y'all could have voted. Y'all could have done a democracy for once. And I'm pretty sure everyone else would have just wanted us here. I can hear Stella screaming from behind my bedroom door. Does she want back in? Arcs, does Stella want back in? If she does, go ahead and let her back in, this gremlin. Hmm. Hmm. I see white hairs on... <laughs> On Lucifer. What if they slowly kept adding some really thin white slash gray hairs to him each time we got a new season? This week I felt like a dog whose owner is holding a treat just out of reach, making him sit there in agony waiting on it. <laughs> I did all the decorations you see out here. I don't know much about how you decorate for parties here in the human world, so I did a bunch of research online. I just searched for party and luxury and some really amazing stuff popped up. Uh. We looked on different cooking sites and apps to learn whatever we could about human world food. Then we all worked together to prepare the meal. Hey, would you look at that? Seems like they managed to plan this party. And thank goodness for Google. Looks like they didn't mess too much up. Congratulations, you guys. You managed to work together. But it still was because of us. <laughs> Though we did have Beale leave midway through. He would have devoured all of our groceries if we'd let him hang around the kitchen any longer. Don't worry, we had a good time with him, making sure he didn't get into any trouble. Right, chat? Yeah, Stella is not having my anime girls on screen here. <laughs> She's like, where's my Ike Mian? Where's my Ike Mian? Give me the Demions. Meow. Oh. Belfi, are you alright? Because your eyes are still closed. Mm. Mm, yeah, I'm fine. It's just been a long time since I've had such a wonderful nap. I was just basking in the afterglow, that's all. Hey, yo, I think she's scritching at the door now. Arx, if you have a time to pull yourself away from your anime waifus, just just let her let her back in for me, would ya? I don't I don't wanna unhook myself again from my bobby bobbles. My bobbles restrainer for my tracking. Oh. So, everyone has a glass now, right? Um... I don't actually have 3D wine. I want some wine. I'm gonna put some wine up here, though. So let me find the wine. This is what we drink in the human world, not Demonus. We drink wine. Fancy, fancy wine. Okay. I have a nice glass, and chat now has a nice glass. We are ready for the celebrations. Then, let's have a toast to our successful reunion with Lavinark here in the human world. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Over one side. Cheers. And tink tink. Cheers. Cheers and more confetti. There we go. Can't go wrong with more confetti. Mm -hmm. Lavinark, what's wrong? You don't seem to be eating much. I'm in shock. 
I'm just tired after the shock of finding you here. Oh. Oops. It's not true. I've been eating. Uh, I've been eating a bit. Maybe they didn't... I know, maybe, maybe they tried their best, but their best wasn't good enough with human world food. <laughs> maybe they, maybe they kind of botched this one. Oh. Then you should have some of this. I made it myself, and I'm proud of how it turned out. Apparently, it's called Beef Stroganoff. It's similar to the flaming hot Fafner stew we have in the Devildom. You know what? I don't think I've ever had beef stroganoff. I'm interested. I want to check. Beef... Beef stroganoff. Oh! It's a Russian dish of sautéed pieces of beef in a sauce of mustard and cementana. I don't know what cementana is. Uh, origins from mid-19th century. It's popular around the world. Uh, I've never had it, but mushrooms are common in many, va many variants. Okay, I'm interested. I like mushrooms. Mushrooms sound tasty. Mushrooms are good. Uh, Arks, I want to try beef stroganoff. <laughs> Please, sir. That looks good. That looks... That looks... Hang on. Now I'm getting hungry. Look at this. Look at this whole bowl of beef stroganoff. Stroganoff. What is beef stroganoff? It sounds made up. <laughs> I would be willing to try that. That look good. This kind of reminds me of... Uh, what is it? Um, Reiji sa... Uh, uh, sama... Sama... Oh my gosh, what is... What is the... What is... What are their last names? Anyway, Reiji from, uh... Diabolic Lovers also really likes making pasta dishes. His favorite dish to make is, uh... Uh... What is it? it starts with a C. It's very popular. I'm gonna have to look that one up too, but, uh... I'm see. I'm drawing some... I'm drawing some, uh... Parallels here with Lucifer and Reiji, because they both also like to drink tea and lace tea with sleeping things, like Lucifer did. They threatened us to do, threatened to do to us in season one. I think it was Car Carbonella? Carbonella? Car blah, blah, blah. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Cabonera. Cabonera, yeah. Reiji likes making Cabonera. Which is also a, a pasty dish. A pasty dish. Cabanera. Oh, that's a small cabanera. Give me a better quality cabanera, Google. There we go. I have not had cabanera either. I'm missing out. I know, I know you can make a lot of things with pasta. But I... Only know the spaghetti and tortellini. My parents, my dad specifically, makes some really good um, basil uh, tortellini with chicken and uh, zucchini and cucumbers and squash. Now I'm getting hungry. Damn it. Good for news for you, Hamburger Helper makes a really good meal kit. Dude, you're gonna make me relive my childhood off of Hamburger Helper. <sighs> and I'm gonna have to have some more pizza after this now. The closest thing I can get. I'd literally drinking it. I'd literally drink it while knowing it's laced. You know what? I think I would too. If, if if Lucifer or Reiji gave it to me, I probably would do it bet. <sighs> it really has been a long day for you. You must be worn out at this point, no? If you're feeling tired, what do you say we slip away? Just the two of us. <laughs> 
This is just an excuse to get us away. I don't think you care if we're tired. Just, I'm just saying. Oh, the cuck. I did the cuck originally. I was trying to stay true to my select few, but it's fine. There's no shame to simp out, out here on the stream with chat. So yeah, I'd like it if we could be alone. <laughs> well then, let's go. Reiji and Lucifer would probably drug you to get you out of their hair for a while. <laughs> Dude, I think, I think yes, I would say yes. Okay, so like, in particular, the threat Lucifer gave us was for us to stop going up to the attic, the free Belfi. And at that point, we weren't close enough. So I think, yeah, he 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 would totally be be willing to just do it to anyone that that threatened whatever he had in motion, whatever plan he had in motion. Reiji, what was the context of Reiji giving, uh, what's her name, Yui, some poison laced tea? I think he was kind of hinting at it being an experiment. I don't know necessarily if it was to get get her out of his hair. I can't remember because the dang game's never going to be translated. I have to read translation. <laughs> and it's been decades. Ugh. Well then, let's go. Let's go. Hi, Stella. Do you want... Wait. Oh, she said hi, meowed, and then left. I saw her paw the... I paw the... Paw my window. I was going to open it for her. Rude gremlin hours. If we leave right now, the others won't notice us. They're too distracted watching Beowulf down that entire ultra spicy fire cake. Wait, what? You mean, wait, ultra spice, ultra spicy fire cake? I kind of want to watch too, though. Like, is it on fire? Yare, yare. Unbelievable. Whose idea was it to make something like that anyway? Probably Satan. Lucy stands are very, very thirsty, Silvar. <laughs> hey, yo, wait, did he just push us already? Dude. 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 Have an orc. Okay, he didn't push us. He hugs us. Still though, <laughs> Lucifer just pulled me into his embrace. He's holding me tight. Can't do it in front of everyone else. <laughs> do you have any idea how hard I had to struggle not to do this earlier? Why are you holding back? Why are you holding back? No one's going to shame you. No one here is going to sh shame you for hold not holding back. It was all I could do to resist throwing my arms around you right in front of everyone at the party. Lavenark, I missed you. Oh, I've never seen this scene because I wanted to stay and party with everyone else originally. Oh my god. Lucifer gets the special scene change <laughs> route. <laughs> oh my gosh. I kind of want to tease him. Dude. <sighs> um, it... Uh, no, it's fine. I just, mm, hmm, hmm, hmm. The temptation to, to be... I want to hear you say yes. Really? Were you that sad with me around? Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Hallelujah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> so much so that I couldn't resist throwing my arms around you the moment we were alone. Yo! Were you surprised that we came here to the human world? I've been planning this ever since you went around asking each of us to give you something we held dear. 
but finding a place to stay turn turned out to be surprisingly complicated, so it took longer than I expected. I'm sorry, Lavnark. I'm sorry it took me so long to get to you. You should really stay with me tonight. We need to make up for all the time lost. <laughs> you can sleep in your bed tomorrow night. What do you say, Lavanark? <laughs> He's pouring it on thick. We need to take longer breaks away from him. Gotta gotta get him to show them true uwu feelings, dude. Well, that's that. That that that's how that's going. That's how that's going. Before we move to lesson 42, we gotta check and see if there's anything in the hard mode. Let's see. Do we have anything here? Anything here? We do. We've got a chapter here. What is it? First day in the human world. Uh, I'm so tired. Turns out that moving is really hard, huh? Wait, did you guys even do anything? Like... Barbata set up all the portals, what? What did you guys do? I know, right? I mean, sure, Barbatos is connecting our devil dumb rooms with the house here, but still, just setting up the living room alone has been a lot of work. Weak. Weak demons. So. A lot of work? What are you talking about, Asmo? You've been coming up with one excuse after another to get out of work, and you know it. Eh? Excuse me? It's not like I can help it, can I? I mean, what if I were to break a nail or ruin my hair? I'd just die. I just... I just can't. I, I just can't with you, Asmodeus. Asmo, please. Asmo, put in your work. Put in your same amount of work. Is this why you don't, has, you don't get as many romantic options? Because <laughs> you don't put in the work. I don't know. Yeah. You just die? I've got half a mind to make that happen for you. Oh, fight, fight, fight. <sighs> I'm heading out for a bit. I'll see you later. Yo, fight, fight, fight. No one's there to stop you. Huh? What's that I hear? My super nice big brother's heading out somewhere? Nana. Maybe he should, I don't know, bring back something for his adorable little brother who's been working so hard moving us into the new place. Oh. I'm on my way to retrieve the deed to this house from a group of loan sharks after my adorable little brother offered it as collateral. And then I'm gonna come and string you up. <laughs> because if I don't, we're going to have to run, turn right around and move ourselves out of here. Hey, yo, just exactly. What exactly entails of of him getting that deed back from loan sharks? I'm pretty sure he doesn't just pay them off, if you know what I mean. Pretty sure he, uh... Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely screwed. Those loan sharks are screwed. You're also screwed, Mammon, but that's like... Expected. Well, I'm gone. Think about where you'd like me to string you up as punishment. Make sure to have an answer by the time I get back. Yeah! Yikes! <sighs> what an idiot. Hmm. Yep. Still, it's actually kind of comforting to know that Mammon's pulled yet another dumb move. It's like the world is as it should be. So, where do you think Lucifer should hang him? Uh. Maybe he should do it outside for a change. Like on the balcony, for example. That way y'all can get some sleep for once. <laughs> oh, but above the pool sounds good too, right? And maybe we could add some crocodiles for good measure? What do you think? Are we in Florida? I don't think we're in Florida. Hey, shut up, you two! 
This is a real serious situation, okay? Quit joking around. Nah. <laughs> right. Whatever. Moving on to more important matters. Seeing as this is our very first day in the new house, I say we celebrate by staying up all night and having fun. And I mean getting drunk. You know, go crazy, have a good time. So, what should we do? <laughs> have a gaming tournament, nerd. Oh. I vote for an all-night endurance eating competition. Oh, that just... I'm not hungry anymore just thinking about that. I just want to sleep. Oh. I say we have a horror movie marathon. Oh, is this the zombie thing? The zombie movie? Oh, perfect. We'll do that. Mammon's gonna get it. Ah! Ha. Ah! Huh. Quiet. Witch shrieking in my ear. But, but like, the zomb zombies. There. There. Gah! Zombies. Oh no, they're zombies. Hey, you think there are zombie otaku? <laughs> I mean, if a human was an otaku while alive, but then they became a zombie, they'd be an otaku zombie, right? Has Levy not seen Zombieland Saga? I think that would answer his question. Dude, I need to watch the next season of Zombieland Saga. I only watched the first season. Ah! Don't talk about otaku and anime, Levy. It's just tell. It's just reminding me how behind I am on everything. Mm. Hmm. I don't know. I've never seen a zombie cosplay a zombie, so. Wait, why would a zombie cosplay a zombie? What does that have to do about the zombie being an otaku? <laughs> you don't. That's not the point of cosplay. You cosplay what you aren't. <laughs> Ask about. Hey, is it just me, or... Does the lead character in this movie sort of remind you of Lapinark? Wait, what? I don't know if I should feel... I don't know how I should feel about being the lead in a horror movie for zombies. Hmm? Now that you mention it, yeah. <laughs> like, both of them are reckless. They choose to head toward danger rather than away from it. That just means I'm not scared. That means I'm not weak. Well, unlike you guys. <laughs> right. Exactly. And they both place the safety of others above their own, regardless of the consequences. That's just what you naturally need to be a protagonist, though, Belfi. <laughs> yeah, and they both spend so much energy trying to fix their friends' problems. Uh. Well, y'all ain't gonna help yourself. Hmm. And they're both so kind and so sweet. Oh, that's an actual good compliment. Thank you, Beale. So You idiots! Don't say stuff like that! Now you got me wishing I could see Lavinark. Hmm. Yeah. I really can't wait to see Lavinark. You guys, you guys, this is your own fault. It's your own fault. You should have invited us so earlier. Then then do the do the surprise party. Okay. Surprise party. That was all for lesson 41. When are we gonna get in trouble? That's the real question. When when are we gonna go from party to problems? Let's see. Lesson 42. Let's go. This the three secrets. Oh man, this is good. <laughs> like, whoa. Human world breakfast is crazy good. What kind of breakfast are you talking about? Ah. Uh. Yeah. I feel like no matter how many helpings I have, I could still go back for more. Bet Beale is eating pancakes. Oi. Share some devil points, please. I would if I had gotten them in time and able to, to pull Diavolo, but I'm pretty salty. I wasn't able to pull Diavolo's birthday card. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, 
You're like that with Double Dump Food too, though, Beal. Satan? Something wrong this morning? Mm. What's wrong, Satan? You almost look like you're in pain. <laughs> Making faces like that when you're so good looking is a real waste, you know. Ayo. Ayo, spare some grip. <laughs> I would if I could, honestly. I need more Grim and Nightbringer than I do OG Obey Me. Uh. Kso. It's too bright. Hmm? I don't understand. Are you trying to say that I'm so radiant that you find it hard to look at me? Asmo! Wake up, honey. Wake up. <laughs> no. I'm talking about that blazing sun. Why are mornings so bright here in the human world? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying, Levy? <laughs> Levy, I'm trying to eat breakfast here. Could you please not cry in front of me? The stream of mucus from your nose is killing my appetite. Oh, he saw it. He bawling. But, but, I can't help it. <laughs> I can't believe I get to watch late night anime when it airs. I mean, I can actually watch my childhood friend who lives next door as a super famous uh, 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 YA author, which means young adult. Uh, uh, crap, 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 I'm failing, I'm failing, I'm fumbling, I'm fa- Oh my god, <laughs> that's a huge wall of text. Okay, breathe, breathe, breathe. Um. <clears throat> <clears throat> I can't believe I get to watch late night anime when it airs. I mean, I can actually watch my childhood friend who lives next door is a super famous YA author. The voice actor for one of my favorite anime characters is the student body president at my high school and also pretty cute. And now suddenly they're both into me and I have guys constantly competing to win me over. So can someone please explain how to make sense of my crazy school life in real time? Uh, the human world is such an otaku paradise that I, I, I just can't take it. And now you owe me a lot of air for that. One. Holy crap, Levy. Uh. Uh. Nah, Levy, could you do me a favor and speak in a language I actually understand and not make Lavinark die? Thanks. <sighs> All of you, quit fooling around and eat your breakfast now. Now. You may be on break from school, but we have a lot to do. A lot to do. Like what? I thought you guys are supposed to technically be on vacation. Good question. There's a long list of things that need doing, but... Oh. First, we're going to need to set up our ground rules, since we're going to be living here for a while. We have to decide who's in charge of cleaning up each day, who's cooking, who's doing laundry, all of that and more. Sounds boring. That's great and all, but how exactly are we supposed to decide all of that? Oh! How else? We play a game of cards! How about we say that whoever wins gets to pick what they want to do first? <laughs> oh, we could have a fashion show, and whoever has the best fashion sense gets to choose first. How does that sound? <laughs> Satan's definitely gonna be last if that's gonna be the way we play. <laughs> Maybe we could have a TSL quiz to decide who goes first. Everyone's rigging their suggestions. Stop it. I want to be in charge of the meals. Wow, someone who doesn't want to play a game to lot himself out of doing things. Wow, Buell. Yeah. You mean you want to be in charge of pinching the food? Unbelievable. You really have no shame, do you? Each one of you just wants to do whatever's in your own interests. Well, at least Beale did it in a way that wasn't as obvious and was actually kind of helpful. <sighs> okay, well, how about this? What if we just play... <laughs> we always... We always play rock, paper, scissors. We always play John Ken. John Ken. Have an issue? Got a dispute? Just play 
Yeah, Kinpo. Whoever wins gets to choose what job they want to do on which day. That works, right? Uh. Play rock, paper, scissors so no one has an advantage, huh? That one's good to me. All right then, let the rock, paper, scissors tournament begin. I hope you're ready, Lavanark, because the competition's going to be stiff. Wait, I have to help. Shit. I mean, I'm gonna come out on top. Otherwise, I'm gonna yell at you guys. <laughs> I look forward to seeing how long that confidence of yours lasts. I just have to say one word. You guys, you guys can't do shit. Uh. Uh. I can't believe you actually called forth the legendary rock giant, Beale. Wait, what? Is there anything you wouldn't do to be put in charge of meal prep? I mean, wow. Well, you're the one who summoned Lotan. That was going too far. <laughs> Bro, Levy summoned Lotan. <laughs> whole ass. Whole ass. Whole ass Lotan. So. <sighs> uh, I, I thought I was gonna die there for a minute. Dude. Regardless, we managed to decide who's in charge of what. So all's well that ends well. <laughs> But what about the flood? What if that's five words. Oh, sorry, Silver. <laughs> oh my god, Stella's up here. Yeah, those are my crackers. You can't have crackers. She wants scritches. I give you some scritchies, butthead. Cat scritchies. Cat scritchies, look at that scritch. Oh, she make us some biscuits. You gonna lay down? Are you gonna lay down? Hmm? Oh, kisses. All is definitely not well, Lucifer. Just look at the state I'm in. What are you talking about? You're fine. You are fine. Yeah, looks like you're the only one who came out of this unscathed, Lucifer. Though I can barely believe it. Yada. Uh, this is awful. My nail, nail polish is chipping, and my hair is a complete and total mess. Sounds like you just need to get in the bath, hun. Take a nice soak. You'll feel better. So, looks like you and I are in charge of dinner tonight, Lavanark. Hey, we get to cook with Beal. <laughs> Come on. Let's go buy groceries. We're gonna get groceries with Beal. Oh wait, there's a there's a side split here, so 42A first. Just an average morning. Oh yeah, sure. Sure. I don't know who's asking, but so is Lavanark asleep? Yep. And it looks like that really is Lavanark. <gasps> Who is it? Is it one of the side characters came by to visit? Finally, we're back together again. Who? Let me see. Beale, don't lean in too close. You're going to wake up Lavanark. Hey, you're leaning in really close too, Belfie. Wait, I already... We've... What are you talking about? Oh, do they have to check up on us because they need to make sure it was actually us after the party happened? <laughs> Bunch of nerds. It's okay when I do it, because I used a spell to conceal my presence. What? That's a little too much information. <sighs> oh. Hey. <sighs> You're up. <laughs> good morning, Lavanark. <laughs> Lavanark, good morning. You guys, you guys, you guys really are twinning right now. The, the twin powers are very, very, very palpable this morning. Um... Good morning. Hmm. Did you get a good night's sleep? You're not tired. Oh. You're not hungry? I'm hungry! Stop with all the talking of food! Yeah! 
Good morning, Lavenark. Wait a minute. Eh? Uh, Beal, Belfi, what are you two doing here? We're gonna get a wake-up call. I have a feeling we're getting a wake-up call. Eh? What are you doing here, Asmo? What do you want with Lavenark? Bark, 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 bark. Down, boy, down. <laughs> Me, I just wanted to pop in and see how cute Lavenark looked while sleeping. And maybe give Lavenark a good morning kiss as well, if I could. Ah. Uh. It's a good thing Belfie and I got here first, huh, Lavenark? Huh. Hey, Lavenark. It's morning. What are all of you doing here? I'd like to ask you the same question. Why are you here, Satan? Yada. You were hoping you could sneak in and plant a good morning kiss on Lavenark, weren't you? Did you just out your plan, Asmo? Come on. You ain't slick. Oi, oi. Stop confusing me with yourself, Asmo. I just came to wake Lavenark up, that's all. My intentions are pure. <laughs> what's it? Lavenark, good mo. Huh? What? Huh? Why is it so crowded in here? <sighs> really? Honestly, why are you all so obsessed with Lavenark? Well, if all of us had the idea to drop by, the next step should be. Yeah. Lavenark. Ah. So you're already awake. Yo, even Lucy. Mm -hmm. Now, what are all of you doing here? Lusa. What are you doing here, Lucifer? <laughs> I just stopped by to let Lavenark know that breakfast is ready, since it was my turn to make it to this morning. Yare, yare. So, assuming I've satisfied your curiosity, get down to the living room. Damn it. I'm hungry. Ah. Oh. Ah, uh, I almost forgot. Wake up Mammon for me on your way there. He was supposed to help me with breakfast, but he never showed up. Bring him down to the living room. Use whatever means necessary, though I do want him alive. <laughs> Damn. Snork me me me, says Mammon. Mammon is sprawled out on the sofa like a half full sack of potatoes, fast asleep. <laughs> I can't be mean to him because I sleep in on the weekends. Mammon, are you going to get up? Hmm? Lavenark, that you? Hmm. Lavenark. Still half asleep, Mammon wraps his arms around me. Ayo, cheeky. Cheeky, cheeky. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Shaboom! <laughs> Levy with the suplex. Or the drop kick, however you want to interpret it. Oh. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> You're only getting what you deserve, Mammon. Yada. Yeah, I mean, pretending to be asleep so you could put your arms around Lavenark? What an underhanded thing to do. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you guys. Mm. Check it out. We made him mad. Hey, come back here, don't let you, don't you run away from me! <laughs> what a good morning. What a typical morning. <sighs> it's so nice to see that things are back to normal. <laughs> that was a good, that was a good morning. I wouldn't mind that every now and then. And the name is... Let me just... John Cena! <laughs> Levy with the John Cena. Da 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 da! <laughs> oh, right, groceries, right, right, groceries. Whether in, your devil, in the devil dumb or the human world, outdoor markets are always fun places, huh? I think I've only been once, honestly. But 
There's just one problem. Belfie and I headed out to the market yesterday, too, and... Oh. We ran into some issues. What do you mean? What did you mean? Was I really being that innocent and asking that they didn't have enough money? No, they definitely have enough money. Lucifer definitely helps with the money. You probably ended up eating before buying Bill? Beal? Beal? I want to trust Beal, though. I, do I want to believe that he didn't do that. He didn't do it. He, he didn't do it. Maybe that's why I picked the top one. I'll do I'll just ask. Beal? Beal was the new stuff too enticing. Did you eat some of it? <sighs> Aw, I believed in you. <laughs> well, good guess. You're really smart, Lavinark. <laughs> Dang it, Beal. Ah. Uh. All the food looks so good at human world markets. Weirdly good. <laughs> And when I see all that delicious stuff sitting there calling to me, I can't help wanting to eat it right away. Belfi kept, kept me from doing that yesterday. So, I'd like you to stop me before I can eat stuff, Lavinark. Please. Alright, I'll do that. I'll restrain your hands with my hand. Woo! Now you can't grab anything. Oh. Uh, I get it. Now even if I start hungering for something, I can't reach out to grab it. Exactly! Exactly! Oh, but what do I do about my other hand? You could put it around my waist? Hey, hey. Oh. Well... Human World Outdoor Markets really are something. Beal looks like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> Lavinark, I'd like to have that one human world dish. Mm, what was it called? Oh yeah, roast chicken. It's sort of like roast rock we have in the Deviledom. Ah. Satan found it on one of the recipe sites he was looking at, and I had him tell me all the ingredients. Come on, let's go buy everything we'll need. Mmm, chicken. I might want some Taco Bell. <laughs> I want me a chicken quesadilla or something. Stop it. Stop with the food. I'm gonna have to eat more before I read now. Hello, what can I do for you? Oh. I'll take five chickens. Oh. Five chickens! Five chickens coming right up. By the way, you came here yesterday too, didn't you? You and one other person. Ah. Uh. Yeah. So you saw us? I did, yes. The two of you stood out, which is why I remember you. He does stand out with them big shoulders, don't he? So what's the occasion? Are the two of you celebrating something tonight? <laughs> yep, we are. We're celebrating our first night living together. Well, congratulations! In that case, let me offer you some advice. Yeah. Advice? Yep, I'm going to let you in on the secret to a long, healthy relationship. Feels getting winged. He's getting winged. I'm a, I'm a fan. Go get Taco Bell for you. Let me, thank you. <laughs> yes. All the Taco Bell. Oh. Oh, I'd definitely be interested in hearing about that. Please tell us. First, you both have to respect each other. Second, you have to let the other live their own life. You can't interfere too much. And finally, you need to stay interested in each other. Do those three things and you'll be good. Solid advice. Solid advice. Respect. Don't interfere too much. And stay interested in each other. Hmm. Huh. Human world butchers sure are amazing. Yeah, they're very wise. They don't just sell you meat here. They also offer secrets to a long and healthy relationship. Interesting. Uh. 
I wonder if we've been doing the three things you suggested. What do you think? Do we respect each other, avoid interfering in each other's lives too much, and stay interested in each other? Beal! The honesty, the honesty. You try to control me too much. Beal would never. Why is that even an option? Dude. Why? <laughs> I, but I don't understand. Why would you put that there? That's not even. That's not even a thing. How is that even a thing? Oh, are you guys having issues? <sighs> For Pete's sake, YouTube. Hang on. Give me a second. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I can... Uh... Beat it into submission. People can simp, but don't get too spicy. I don't... I know we do have minors, so guys, please be mindful of that. OBS, YouTube. Don't be giving me no grief. Sorry for any lag interruption issues, guys. I've had some... Uh, streaming connection issues the last couple of streams. You're gonna start putting some modern tools to, to use. Okay, you guys have been warned. Y'all can simp for your boys, but keep it, keep it, keep it, PG. Keep, keep it, keep it non, not too explicit. We do have minors and stuff. Uh... Hiki, Hiki, don't push yourself. If you need to drop, no worries. Uh, make sure to drink some water. Eat something, please. Drink and eat something, please. And hi, Marigold. I'm glad to have you with us. Hope you're doing, hope you're doing good. Yeah, I know we're all simps in here, but just be aware. Uh, but here's hope. Here's hoping OBS uh, ends up being a good, good boy. OBS be good. No. Okay. There. Okay, I've given given the stream a bit. Hopefully it's stabilized out. Kiki. Kiki, make sure to take it easy. This is not what in the hell is bad. That's correct. Technically this game is for minors compared to what in hell is bad. What in the hell what in what in hell is bad. Everyone's everyone's a little bit more down bad for obey me characters though from what I've been seeing in chat compared to Chat for what in hell is bad. Everybody was like holy crap. I can't believe this is happening and what in hell is bad But yeah Kind of reopened you have to type out somehow bandage it up Give that give that wound no chance to breathe hiki <laughs> So with Beal, I'll be honest, I kind of wish he'd take a little bit more interest on the romance side. So I'll, I'll pick that. But I might also say you bet we do. I might go back and say you bet we do, because I feel like that gives me points. But first, I wish you'd take some more interest in, in, in us. In us. Yeah. What? Really? Because I'm pretty sure I spend more time thinking about you than I do about my mid-morning snack, which is a big deal. Ah. Okay, that was cute. Are you saying that ranking above my mid-morning snack isn't good enough? You need to rank above my afternoon snack and my evening snack and my after-dinner snack and... Honey, we need to be above your whole ass dinner. <laughs> Okay, I'll try. 
I mean, I'll see what I can do. <gasps> he says he'll try. That's good enough for me. If Beale says he, he'll try, I trust him. <laughs> but let me see, let me say yes. Uh, just in case. Um, just to see if we get some Beale points. Some extra Beale points would not hurt. All right, Beale. You bet we do. We live by those three uh, philosophies, I guess you could call them. We check them. We check them. Uh. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I think so too. Beale is the slow burn. Well then, I guess there's no need to worry, huh? From here on out, we'll always be together. Aww. Out on the town. Hmm? Oh, hey. Whoa, it's you two! Wait, why are you... Why are specifically you two together? You guys usually are always fighting. Why are the both of you out together? That is... Sus that's suspicious. Oh. Wait, Kiki's being replaced. What do you mean? <laughs> Or can we be? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's that's fine. It's not like overly raunchy. No, no raunchy, raunchy simping. Leeton and Mammon, what are you doing here? <sighs> Long story. Oh yeah, that's right. You two headed out to buy stuff for dinner, didn't ya? Man, pretty crazy running into you like this. <laughs> We're about to grab some lunch. Satan's treat. What? No, not the leg again. I'm just gonna blame it on Satan and Mammon. They're not usually together willingly, that's for sure. Hmm? Excuse me. My treat. Dana. Eh, come on, you can't handle it, right? It's no big deal, just lunch. Dude, is he like bullying him? He's like, you can do it. You're you're the you're a man, aren't you, Satan? You can cover a lunch. You can you can cover a homie for lunch, right? I have no intention whatsoever of paying for your meal, mammon. Hmm, <laughs> lunch. Oh, Satan says there's a restaurant here near here that has good pizza. Ah, oh, pizza. Nah, uh, do I want Taco Bell or do I want leftover pizza that I've already had today? Dude. Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> pizza. Hmm? You two want to come with us? Yes! Ah. Uh. Definitely. Hook us up. We're going with them, right, Lavinark? Hell yeah, we are. You bet we are. Ah. <sighs> You're free to come along if you want, but I'm not footing the bill. I'll pay for myself in Lavinark. The rest of you are on your own. Uh, <laughs> the special treatment. Yes, 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 yes. Freebies, free pizza. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> hmm? This is the place. No doubt about it. Huh. This is one of the spots where they filmed the human world drama The Twilight of a Great Family. It's the diner called Chronicle, where the female lead worked part-time. You see, one day when the male lead shows up to eat, and she accidentally dumps the bottle of hot sauce on his head, which ends up being the start of a forbidden love between the two. Satan's a romantic? Oh. You can censor yourself a bit, but I don't want to see full on, like, you know, AO3 usages of words, if you know what I mean. Fish, does that make sense? And everyone? You have six cats on your bed, Nom? Oh my gosh, that's a heaven. 
Stella will only get on bed with me if it's only me and her in the room. She is such a... She is such a... She's such a... She's like Lucifer. She's too proud to show her affection in front of everybody. Anyway, Satan, um, you wanna... You wanna recommend me the show? At least it's not the book cliche. <laughs> He's moving on to dramas. As long as he doesn't do soap operas. You know. And then later, during the preview for the next episode, they teased the fact that the two of them eventually realized that they were childhood friends. No, not the childhood friends trope. No. <laughs> Though they came from completely different social status and that they'd promised to marry each other someday at that time. Well, apparently this reveal really helped to the ratings, which I'm sure it did help the ratings. Hey, yo, Satan, spoilers! Satan doesn't know how to talk about his passions without spoiling things, unlike Levy. Levy's... Levy, I don't think, has really spoiled much of his anime and stuff. Hmm. Rain it in, Satan, you cute... cute young lad. Eh... <laughs> Satan, you're turning into Levy, you know? <laughs> mm, everything looks so good. Oh, Beale's like, I don't care. I like the food. I'm not listening. What? Whoa, Beale. Come on, don't eat the menu. <laughs> okay, you guys. Listen up. What? At restaurants like this one, when they ask you what you want to order, you're supposed to say the usual. Oh no. He's been exposed to too much, um, human world tropes. That's precious. Huh? The usual. Like what? Like, like, what's that? Is it good? Uh. I want to order the ultra sized seafood pizza. <laughs> Either way, you're supposed to tell them you want the usual. Isn't that right, Lavenark? <gasps> oh, I, this sweet summer child. I can't break his dreams. I can't break his dreams like this. Yeah, something like that. I think it's just some kind of coffee, isn't it? Coffee and toast. Oh. Huh. Satan, I'm impressed. You sure do know a lot of useless facts about the human world. <laughs> That's my nerd. <laughs> useless? No. I just happen to know a great deal more about the world than either of you. <laughs> flex. I'll flex you my useless, tropey human world knowledge. Feels having a good time. I'm hungry. Huh? What the? Majika. Feel? I was planning on eating that last slice of pizza. First come, first serve. Oh. Just order more then. Oh, yo. He's not wrong. Eh. Again? Do you know how many times I've done that already? Just look at how the waitress over there is looking at us. She thinks we're bad news, and she wants to keep her distance. Uh. Changing the subject. Lavenark, have you started to get the hang of proper magic yet? Dude, it's only been like one day. How was I supposed to get a hold of proper magic when the celebration was yesterday? <laughs> um... Don't look, don't look, don't look weak in front of my man. Sure, magic's easy. Hey? Well, you sound confident. Good. <laughs> I guess it's only a matter of time before you master the ability to summon us across worlds then. Oh! You know, Solomon actually came by the house earlier. He wanted to know if you were around, Lavenark. When I told him you'd gone out, he said he'd just wait till you got back. <laughs> we're just leaving Solomon hanging now. Why'd you tell me now? Why'd you just tell me right now? Right. And then he offered to make us all lunch in the meantime. 
So Mammon and I snuck off. Lucifer was busy working, so we just left him here or there on his own. <laughs> Smart. I mean, I figured Satan would sneak off. But him and Mammon sneaking off together? Rare. <sighs> Lunch courtesy of Solomon, huh? Oh. <laughs> well, I'm so glad we weren't there for that. <laughs> the inquiry about Lucifer. I'm sure if I say that... Two out of the three will be like, eh, it's whatever. It's Lucifer. I'm glad we did not get get caught by that. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that was close. We could all be dead right now. Anna. Oh, man, I'm full. Hmm. Um. That wasn't enough food. I need more. Magica! After all you ate, you still want more? <clears throat> ah, life is good. Can't believe I actually got to sit in the room where they filmed the Twilight of a Great Family and eat the very same pizza as the lead character. <sighs> I've done everything I could ever want to do. What? We're supposed to get married! Shut up! I'm gonna hit you! <laughs> uh. Well, I'm going to take off. Time to go bookstore hopping. Uh. Doesn't sound like you've done everything you could ever want to do to me. What are you guys going to do? Uh, Asma asked me to stop by a bakery and pick something up for him, so I'm gonna go do that now. He kept badgering me about this thing he wants. It's supposed to be some sort of special dessert, and he wants to take a picture to post to Devilgram. Said people would die when they see it. Oh. Bakeries. Desserts. Mm. I'm going with you. Right, of course you are, Beale. I figured you were going to say that. Hmm? What about you, Lavenark? Can I go to the bookstore? <gasps> Wait, we have, we have an option? Are these real options? Well, we should split into pairs, obviously. So, uh, books. Let's go with the books to see if we actually go. Uh. All right, then. You'll have to recommend good human world books for me. Oh, we do go. Oh, we do go. I have to say, I really like this bookstore. It's so quiet and peaceful in here. And they have a really large selection of books. I got all these cats ones. Wait, did you find a cat one? Look at this. It's the first edition of the night they covered the moon in wasabi. Wait, what? I don't like wasabi. That doesn't sound very appealing. This was made into a movie, which ended up being banned. They were forced to pull it from theaters. What? Why? Why? Why was it banned? Oh, and they have every volume of crustaceans and myriapods. An exhaustive illustrated reference catalog in color. I can't believe what good condition they're in. You want to learn about crabs? Satan really seems to be enjoying himself. Uh. Let's head farther in sar in 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 sard? inside Lavenark. We might even find more rare books. Hmm... Hmm. It's great that they have so many books here, but this place is confusing. It's like wandering around a maze of bookshelves. Hmm? Hey, do you remember which way we came from? You ask me about directions? Oh, Lord. I want to say we came from the right. Wait, no. Maybe it was the left? Kso. Well, this isn't good. Looks like we're lost. Um, that's fine. Let's stick... Let's stick together. I don't want to race. I don't. After eating? No. Nope. Nope. It's time to chill after eating. Let's stick together and, and find a way out. <laughs> All right, then. I guess I'll just follow your lead. Hello, Jin. I hope I said that right. But yes. Yes. Glad to have you here with us.
These aisles really are narrow. Careful. We don't want to bump into one of the shelves and send an avalanche of books cascading down on us. You'd better move in closer to me, just to be on the safe side. Satan puts his arm around my shoulder and pulls me against him. If only I could have you this close all the time. Ah, we're lost together in a giant bookstore and it's claustrophobic. What a nice setup. What a nice setup. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. We could stay stuck here. It's fine. It's fine. I wish we could be together all the time. Well, in that case, what do you say we live here in the bookstore from now on? Yeah! <laughs> Us and some cats. Let's go. Bookstore. That's it. Us cats in the bookstore. Yep. 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 I mean, with this many books and you by my side as well, I'd have everything I could ever want. <laughs> uh, but I guess life doesn't work like that, huh? Hey, yo, I want you. Hey, let's go. I don't know about you guys, but I want him. I want Satan. Definitely. Hmm? <laughs> what a strange thing to say. After all, you already have me. I'm yours in your mind. Isn't that right? I love you, Lavinark. Yes! Good setup. That really scratches my stimp, my Satan stimp itchies. Heck yeah. Okay, but we need to go to the bakery. We need to go to the bakery. I think I'm gonna head out and eat. It was nice hanging out with you. Yeah, nice to have you with us, Mom. Get some good eatsies. There's no food in a bookstore. We could always Uber. Who said we had a... Who said... Who said we couldn't deliver? We have to feed our cats, too. Obviously. Alright, this time let's go to the bakery with Mammon and Beale. Oh! Alright, now we're talking! Yo, Beale, don't you dare start drooling while we're inside the bakery, got it? I mean, I would drool with him. Look at those whole-ass French breads in the back, dude. Oh. Everything looks so good. Oi! Hey, listen to me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> so, which one of these is the dessert, Asmo mentioned? The one that's supposed to make you die when you see it? You won't actually die, Beal. Asmo just meant it's real pretty, okay? <laughs> Beal was literally willing to bet on this food in exchange for, <laughs> despite the fact he might actually die. <laughs> now let's see, what was it called again? I forgot. I think you said it was named after some mountain somewhere in the human world. And I think it was a French word. Man, this is driving me crazy. Huh, what was it called? It's not a croissant, is it? Croissant doesn't mean... Is it named after a mountain, is it? A croissant. Oh. Dang it, I wish a croissant was an option. Dang it. <laughs> I'm gonna say a Mont Blanc. I've heard of that one before. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Because it's supposed to be a French word. I don't know if Matt Matterhorn's one, but I'm pretty sure all of these are mountains at least. So, uh, thanks, thanks for the op those options, I guess. Well, let's go Mont Blanc. Oh. Hey, yeah, that's right. Bingo. It's called a Mont Blanc. Uh, yep. Check it out. It looks like the Mont Blanc is their signature dessert. Oh. Wow. You'd never know that it was deadly. No, Beal, no. Nazmo just meant that it's pretty okay. Get it through your skull. <laughs> He's trying. He's trying, all right? Oh, but this other thing looks good, too. And this thing. And that one. And the one on the end, too. I want every single thing here. I want all of it. Oh! 
Right on. We'll buy everything. Asmo's credit card is about to make all your dreams come true. Oh, yo, thank you, Asmo. Thanks, Asmo. I'll just... I'll take some stuff, too. You know what? <laughs> we'll just buy the whole bakery out. You guys are gonna have to start fresh hella in the morning. This seems like a bad idea. No, 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 no. No, it's not. No, it's not. I definitely want anything that has a strawberry on it. E with a side of revenge. Hey, that's just right up my alley. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did we actually walk back with them after the bakery? <sighs> oh, okay, no. Okay. Beale, I've been wanting to tell you this ever since we all met back up. Quit laughing to yourself. It's sort of creepy. <laughs> You're not wrong, but I don't think Beale's the creepiest one when he laughs to himself. Sorry. It's just that I'm so happy I can't help it. Man's got all of the food from a bakery. I don't blame him. He can laugh as much as he wants. Oi, oi. One more thing. What's in the giant stack of boxes you're carrying? Breads. We all got them bread. Huh? You know, I noticed you didn't buy anything, did you, Satan? Which is weird considering you went to the bookstore. Normally you'd buy a huge stack of books. Hey, yo, the canon, the canon choice is to go with Satan to the bookstore. Oh, ooh. Well, stuff happened. I didn't end up having time. Stuff? What stuff? You ain't never gonna find out. Satan would rather die before tell you. It doesn't matter. But hey, is it just me or does something feel... Not right. Oi! Don't you change the subject! Ah. Uh. No, he's right. Something feels off. Uh oh. We're still a fair distance from the house, but I'm already getting a strange vibe from it. Yeah, an ominous sort of vibe. Like something terrible awaits. Wait, is Solomon still. Solomon's still there, isn't he? Oops. Huh? You think? Because I don't sense anything. Mammon, you couldn't sense a curse even, it if, you, even if it was attached to you. Come on. Hi. Hi. This is where we close the door now. We're closing the door again, aren't we? Please tell me we're closing the door on Solomon. I would love to do that. He kind of deserves it. Ah, welcome back. I totally forgot. He's been waiting here this whole time. <laughs> I've made afternoon tea for all of you, as well as some of my special homemade sandwiches and pastries. Oh, there's the side of revenge. Dude, wait. Can Solomon even make tea correctly? Uh-oh. I might actually have to refuse tea for once. Audible mammon. <gasps> you know, we had pizza and we just bought, we bought out a break, a, a, we bought out a bakery. So like, I'm not hungry anymore. All of a sudden. Um. Yeah. It's kind of you to offer, but I just had lunch actually. <laughs> Anna. Ah, me too, me too. Man, ah, uh, am I full? Oh. Right, so am I. I'm full. <laughs> Bill can't even say it. He's never said that word in his entire life. Bill, that sounded real weird, man. You really aren't used to saying that, are you? Hmm? What about you, Lavinark? You'll join me for tea, right? Ah! 
Ay. Uh, I need a way out of here. How do I get out of your chat? How do I get out of here? I have to get... I, t I don't usually refuse tea. I can't refuse tea, can I? I can't refuse tea, can I? Otherwise, I'd have to eat somebody, right? That's how it goes. That's that's my saying. That's my saying. I say I'm an Alrane, a species of fem female-like plant ladies that like to, to eat, eat, eat guys. We, we're car we're carnivorous female plants. It's, but usually I eat tea, so that's that's fine. That's fine. I would sip the tea, but I can't have Solomon's tea, so. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> that was targeted to me. I know! <laughs> um... Well, Solomon, um... I guess I'm just gonna have to eat you. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude, but... I can't. It's either the tea or you, and uh... I don't think that's tea. Oh man, I really did think I could try the tea, did I? Oh god. <laughs> Chat, your fate, or I mean my fate. My fate's in your hands. I'm gonna pull. That way I can hydrate and snack on some of my crackers, so... <laughs> to tea or not to tea? That is the question. Stella, you're a good bean. Stella, would you drink Solomon's tea? Huh? Would you drink Solomon's tea? <laughs> she said, hmm. Hydrate time. These toe beans. Free toe beans. Did someone say free toe beans? <gasps> Oh, Bella. Oh my goodness. Darling. Bella, my darling gremlin. She said no free st she said no free toe beans. Give me them back. Let's see. Let's see how I can... <laughs> there we go. Sleepy girl. Hiding her toe beans. Barbatos. Barbatos needs to school this man in the world of tea. Stella, will you take your tamago nigiri? Hmm? Don't they just... You want to cuddle with... Oh, she's like, what is this? Oh, stretchies. 71% not the tea. 
honestly, it's kind of a bit of a tragedy that I am not going to be being. But uh, y'all saved my life, thank you. Uh, I'm afraid I'm already full, so I'm pretty sure if you pick the top, it gives you Solomon points. But you know, um, you know, can can I pat Stella? I can give her pats. Be a good girl. Be a good girl. Give her some little pat. All right. I'm afraid I'm already full. Cat says I'm full, which means my life is spared and your life is spared, Solomon. Ah. <sighs> oh, I was really hoping that you'd try some of what I made. Another time, perhaps. Solomon seems pretty disappointed. And no one gave a damn. Uh. Well, okay then. We're just going to head to our rooms. So... So soon? Someone else here? Solomon, did you bring someone with you? Hmm? Yes. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh. Ne never mind. <laughs> Solomon, take him back. Solomon, Solomon, put the angry old man back, please. Do you really think I'd allow you to head straight to your rooms when you've only just gotten here? Gah! <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Yo, man! <laughs> Wow, this is great. I'm so happy that you all ended up joining me for tea. <laughs> Chat, you tried to help me, but Lucifer said no. <laughs> I thought it was the side characters too, Kisan. Damn it, Lucifer. What did I do? Huh? What did I do to deserve this? Chat tried to bail me out. I made lunch for Lucifer, you see? And he liked it so much that he said I should whip up something for the rest of you as well. <laughs> so, you'd have decided to get his revenge the not-so-subtle way. Mm. I made plenty, so eat as much as you'd like. You just told him no. And he knows that. He knows that we just didn't want to taste it. Look at that face. So. <laughs> <laughs> These sandwiches have a real bite to them. <laughs> My tongue and throat are both on fire. What did you do to these sandwiches to give them such a unique flavor? Uh -huh. You're embarrassing me with all these compliments. He audibly hears Mammon <laughs> try to hold back from throwing up. Oh, that's such a nice compliment, Mammon. <laughs> this sandwich tastes truly awful. Mm. Oh, Lavinark, I've been meaning to tell you. My taste buds are crying out in agony to the point that I'm seeing stars. Oh no. <laughs> Can we just pass out while he's trying to talk to us, please? I think it's time you applied for your sorcerer's license. That's why I'm here, actually. I wanted to discuss it with you. The tips of my fingers are starting to go numb. What did he put in these things? You ain't gonna have a heart attack! We are not Daijobu. Everything is not Daijobu, Solomon. Stop! <laughs> Since you're currently apprenticing over under me, you can only cast spells in the human world that I've given you specific permission to use. This sandwich is so incredibly awful. I can't even hear what Solomon's saying. We are dying. This is the bad end, and this is Lucifer's fault. Wah 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 w
wah, 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 wah. I see my life flashing before my eyes. I think this may be the end. <laughs> I feel faint. It killed us. He killed us. He killed us. He killed us. His apprentice. His one and only apprentice. <laughs> Man, man needs to be put in jail. Right now. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, okay. A, a sorcerer's license, I guess. <clears throat> Just floating. Look back on our life so far, I guess. I think I must have passed out because of Solomon's sandwich. I wonder what happened after I blacked out. I'd better go ahead and find the others. And we took that personally. That's why in Nightbringer we're extremely adamant about keeping his ass out of Kokutos's kitchen. Kokutos Saul's kitchen. Oh my gosh, Marigold. Can you imagine though, if if there was a reality show of R Gordon Ramsay just trying to make, like trying to teach Solomon to be a better cook? <laughs> oh, I would love to see that. Uh, wait, wait, what? Our bedroom leaves, leads out to the Demon's Lord's castle? <gasps> it's Little D! I mean, ah! Ah! <laughs> you scared the shit out of Little D number two. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're no ghost, are you? Oh, I nearly had a heart attack laughing, Ark. It's you. I thought for sure you were a ghost, but no. So you're already here. I wasn't expecting you so soon. Dude. <laughs> no, Barbatos took one look at the atrocity, uh, the crime that Solomon just committed and whisked us away. <laughs> I, I must still be halluc- or I still must be passed out. This Is this the Demon Lord's castle? We dead? We died and went straight to the devil dumb. <laughs> well, yes it is, as you can see. Oh, I almost forgot. I was supposed to let Mr. Barbatos know as soon as you arrived, I baby. I could kiss you. I could kiss you as soon as I see you. Mr. Barbatos! Lavinark is here! Am I gonna give little D number two a New Yorker a accent? <laughs> Not so loud, number two. Konnichiwa. Welcome, Lavenark. Oh, Barbados. I'm so glad to see you. This is perfect timing. Would you mind helping me out a bit? I'd like to prepare tea. <laughs> tea. Tea, you say. Guys, I y'all know I love tea, but like so soon after that poisoning, I don't know. Eh? I'd planned to go get you as soon as everything was ready. Obviously, I made the right choice when I decided to go ahead and connect your room to the castle earlier. Sneaky, sneaky, no permissions. None of the brothers know about this. What if the brothers come in to check on us and notice that we're just... We're gone. Gone. <laughs> you see, young Master Diavolo said he'd like to have tea with you. 
Oh, now I can't refuse. Hell no, no way am I refusing this. At least we'll survive drinking this tea. Yeah, actually, you know what? Maybe Barbatos' tea has healing powers. We probably need it after that. By coming here on your own, you saved me the trouble of having to go get you. Ah! I want to say both of these. I'm going to go back and say both of these. Deserved. Both. I want both of their affections. I want both of their infec infections. Infect me with your affection. I can't wait to see Diavolo. Eh? The young master will be delighted to hear that. Please, you really must tell him what you just told me when he arrives. Because he's in love with you, obviously. <laughs> now that Lucifer and his brothers are in the human world as well, he's been quite lonely, I'm afraid. Mm. Speaking of the human world, I'd love to go visit if I get the chance. Eh? Picking out rare and unusual varieties of tea to bring back and high quality cutlery and such, sampling all the different pastries, cakes, and desserts of the human world. <laughs> I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Yes, 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 yes. You know, the devil of dumb can just, can just not function for like a summer. <laughs> you guys should come. You should totally visit. Thank you. That would be wonderful. When I do make it there, I'd love it if you showed me around your world. Now then, let's finish setting the table before the young master gets back, shall we? Yes. Yes. I was a little scared we wouldn't see anyone outside of Solomon as the side characters before this first reading session. Ah! Sorry, little D, I had to scare you again. <laughs> I'm really happy to see you again, Barbatos. Oh, yeah. Wait, where's the affection? BB, where's the affection? <laughs> Why did he not feel it? <laughs> I came back for you. Why didn't I get an affection increase for saying that? <laughs> Maybe, I can't remember who said it in chat, but I think you're right. I think at this point in time, Barbatos is not like fully like in love with us. That's the, that's the only thing, the only reason why I could, could even imagine why I did not get affection for saying that. <laughs> why, I'm honored you would say that. Why are you crying? Because my HUD said you didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen each other since you went back to the human world, have we? I'm glad to see that you're well. Mm. We just got we just got gypped. <laughs> we just got gypped. Do you think you'll ever be able to make the trip? That's a good question. Wanting to go and being able to go are two separate things, after all. Even so, I genuinely would like to go. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe your your wish will get to come true. Hmm. Anyway, let's have a nice proper tea party. Tea in the Deviledom. Proper, as it should be. Yeah. Made by the greatest butler in exist butler in in existence. Lavenark, I'm so glad you could make it. I've been looking forward to seeing you again. Aww. He's like a little puppy. Salty. I'm sorry, he's on. I mean, I'm salty about it too, but yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Please have a seat. I'm glad to see you look well. It's so quiet here in the Devil Dome without you and the brother. The brothers? The brothers. <laughs> Quiet and boring. <laughs> Is boring. Diavolo's bored. <laughs> well, 
there is a very easy way to fix the boredom. Just, just come up with us. That's it. That's all you gotta do. But you must be getting more work done now without all of the constant disturbances. Correct? <laughs> Doing your job as a proper demon lord. Uh, thirst? Why? Actually, here, let me see. Thirsty should work. I don't understand a blame baby me lord lore, but my friend wanted me to watch, so I'm here now. Oh, that's fine. Welcome in with us. Hope you're doing well, Paul. Uh, thirsty should work. Oh, wait. Actually, I did. Oh, say it. So I upgraded my. Or updated. I updated my my program for my vtuber it might be that uh thirsty got unchecked so let me double check it because i think anything that had things i had to tick in a box uh didn't did not want to work let me see <laughs> oh i should actually also add a hotkey for this really quick uh I know there are some people here, um, Paul, uh, that don't play the game, um, and still just chill out and, uh, watch via through, through my videos, so. See, that goes there, and then that goes there, and I need to change this hotkey. Wait, what? What's this? That is not what I was doing. Wait, hello? Stop. Whatever you're doing, stop it. How do I turn this off? <laughs> uh, that wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> okay, where's my thirsty read? Uh, thirsty command. Let me try. Oh, hi. Whoa, that does some weird effects with my shaders now. My face is now water. Wait, do you guys want the water gun instead? I can switch it over to the water gun if you don't want the water dump. I also apparently have a chibi redeem, but I don't know um what it looks like. Let let me let me see. Oh my god, I'm shrinking. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, I am baby. You think the water gun should be its own separate command? Okay, let me see. It really does look like you guys are shooting it from over there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of other things I haven't really implemented. I didn't want I didn't want my pinned message to get so long and I can only stick so many characters in uh a message for YouTube. So I, what I might end up doing is make an exclamation point command command and it should send and have it send all the commands that you can do um, in chat if people forget what they are. You still got your wine? Yeah, of course. The wine don't stop. Whining never stop. All right. All right, it works. Thank you guys. <laughs> I could change the color of this water too. 
if you guys wanted to give me some blood or tea. <laughs> just, uh, just, just a suggestion. I'll leave it out there for you. <laughs> but, okay. Good to know that works. Let's get back to the tea party. Tea party. Uh, right, right. Uh, Diabolo, Diavolo, all... Diavolo, all work and no play makes Diavolo a dull boy, right? <laughs> you would think so, wouldn't you? But it's actually been the complete opposite. Aw, he can't focus. For some reason, I've had trouble staying on task. It's been a real problem. <sighs> Have you experienced anything similar, Lavenark? I think about you day and night every time I'm not in the devil dumb. Yes, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> See, Barbatos? Did you hear that? I told you. I'm not the only one who gets less work done when it's too quiet. It's quiet. Too quiet. I have to have stuff running in the background whenever I'm working. Like, actual, like, it's my adult job. And then anytime I'm working on VTuber stuff as well. So tell me, you reunited with Lucifer and his brothers in the human world, didn't you? What's it like living with them there? It's still, it's still a lot of chaos. I tell Diavolo, Diavolo about the latest episodes involving myself and the brothers. <laughs> I love it. I can see it now, almost like I'm right there. So they threw you a surprise party on the balcony to celebrate your reunion, and you walked around town in the human world together? I bet that was fun. Make it a blood pot. Keep it water? <laughs> okay. But for Halloweenies, I'm gonna change all the water to red for, for next year. Just a heads up. I'm giving you guys a year heads up. All the liquid's gonna be blood for, for spooky time. If I could, I would love to visit the human world right this instant. But Barbatos won't let me. <laughs> Barbatos, don't be a stick in the mud. As I've told you several times, once you have made sufficient progress on your work, you will be free to visit the human world, or anywhere else for that matter. Alright guys, let's roll up our sleeves and help him. We're, we're, we're not leaving the devil dumb until we come back. Is there still candy? There is, I haven't check, check marked it back. Because like I said, when I, when I updated my program, it's unchecked all of my stuff that needs their boxes checked. But here, let me turn it back on. Let's switch these. <coughs> oh my god, that's a big cat! <coughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. That is the biggest hecking cat I have ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's got an X for its butt. Satan's jealous. Make Satan jealous. Trying to fix the sides. <coughs> oh my god! <coughs> okay, the sizes should be fixed, I think. Somebody get this lollipop off me. Okay, there we go. Yes. Uh, exclamation point candy is, is still gonna be there. It's gonna be there all year. I just, uh, I won't point it out. It's gonna be a secret command until spooky times is when I will actually advertise it. Oh my god. 
Okay, okay. Barbatos, ignore the candy. Please, ignore the candy. Cat should be left huge. I agree. Leave the cat has it. Fine. Big honkin' chonkin' cat. Let's see. Uh, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? There. There you go. You know what? I'll have the big and the small cat on both of these. Y'all are either getting both or one. <coughs> or it's both. There was a both that time. <coughs> oh my gosh. So the tea party's different this time, isn't it? Don't you think, Barbatos? Diavolo? See what I'm dealing with? <laughs> See what I'm dealing with? <laughs> what exactly constitutes sufficient progress? As soon as I finish one thing, it's on to the next and it never stops. <laughs> you know, I'd really... I'd, I'd really... I'd really... I'd really, I'd really like you to visit as soon as you can, please. <laughs> Thank you, Lavinark. I appreciate you saying that while being bombarded. I'll do my best to make it there as soon as possible. I just need a bit more time. <laughs> oh, who could that be? Better not be Lucifer. Yeah. No! No! Party interrupted in the worst possible way. It's a message from Lucifer. He says he wants us to send Lavinark back ASAP. No! And I don't want to go back. It's literally just one little segment out of this. It's just one chapter. <laughs> oh. There's still so much I want to wanted to talk to you about, but I suppose it can't be helped. We'll have to do this again sometime, Lavinark. Fudge sickles. Hmm, fudge sickles. Oh, hi, Bia. <laughs> Did somebody say fudge sickles? I mean, Lavinark. Good, you're back. You're late. You were supposed to be in charge of dinner tonight. And since we can't trust Beal to handle it on his own, we've been waiting for you to come back before starting. Well, guess y'all were just gonna starve. Uh. But that's not the only reason we've been waiting here for you. You have to help us, Lavinark. We need you. Okay. You will explain! Just rolling it. It's a rolling cat. Don't worry about it, Levy. Um, we'll explain everything later. Just come with us to the kitchen. <laughs> well, Lucifer is gonna be mad <laughs> about these cats. Well, that's a nice kitchen. Yeah. Lavinark, so you're finally here. We've been waiting for you to show up. <laughs> yeah, it's been not the cats. <laughs> We've been arguing with each other this whole time. Well, I guess maybe if you drop the cat, Satan stop arguing, but. Uh. We need you to show us how to use these things and show me the cats. On the counter in front of you are a number of kitchen appliances, including a slow cooker and an ice cream maker. Each one is the latest model with cutting edge features. We found these in the kitchen, so they must be used for cooking cat. But we're not sure how. Uh. They don't know how to use a rice cooker? Is that right? They don't know how to use a rice cooker and an ice cream maker? Is that what I'm understanding? Oh, a slow cooker. A slow cooker. <laughs> Wait, a slow cooker's like the easiest thing. You just set it in there and set a time. I don't know about the ice cream maker, though. 
We also have human world appliances in the Deviledom, but I've never seen these before. Beal actually tried to just eat that, you know? <laughs> I thought it might have been a hot pot. You know, Beal can just eat the candy. Guys, can't we just eat the candy for dinner? I thought it might have been a hot pot. Wait, what? That's not how that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what are you even talking about? The pot isn't the edible part of a hot pot, Beal. I proceed to show them how to use the slow cooker. Huh? So basically, we just put the ingredients in the pot here and leave them, and it'll make a stew out of them all by itself. I know, it's a miracle, right? Whoa! Oh! Human world appliances are so cutting edge. Epic. Oh. So it is a hot pot. I thought so. I mean, you're not, you weren't entirely wrong, but you don't eat that part, Beal. <laughs> no, it's a pot that gets hot, Beal. I don't think that's the same as what you're talking about. But you have to heat up a hot pot for it to be a hot pot. Stop arguing! Hmm? Okay, well, what about this thing? How do you use it? Now I proceed to show them how to use the ice cream maker. Huh? That's crazy! So you're saying that it'll make ice cream all by itself and we don't even need to put it in the freezer? Eh. Satan, didn't you say this was an appliance for heating up soup? <laughs> Wrong temperature, honey. Yeah, he did. And he was all confident about it too. Well... He got you. He got you. This is so close. Wrong end of the temperature again. Uh. Yeah, you're right. I was close. The only part I got wrong was that it makes stuff colder rather than hotter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not close at all. It's the complete opposite of what you said. Huh. Semantics. As Arcs would say, we couldn't figure out how to use these things yesterday, and it was driving us crazy. We got into a big argument over it. <laughs> Why didn't you guys just test it out? If you just turn it on for a while, stick your hand in, you'll figure out what it does, right? So they know, so they do, they know about microwave. I think they do, Hiki, because they did say that they do have some appliances in the Devil Dumb. They've just never seen these ones before. I'm pretty sure they know how to use a microwave, considering uh, Mammon's favorite food is ramen. Cup noodle ramen. You have to basically use a microwave. I don't think he would just sit there and let a pot of water boil. Mm. We do have ovens and blenders in the Devil Dumb. Oh, okay. Wow, they have an oven. Well, yeah, of course they have an oven or else Luke would cry because he wouldn't be able to bake. Okay. But the ones in here, or the ones here in the human world are really advanced. That evening at dinner, Stella, why are you... <laughs> Stella's sniffing the camera. <laughs> why are you laughing, Mammon? Are you laughing at Satan? So you're saying that Barbatos is forcing Lord Diavolo to work all the time? Oh, you're laughing at Lord Diavolo? Shame, shame. I'm gonna tell on you. <laughs> oh my gosh. When Lord Diavolo saw us off as we left for the human world, I remembered that he looked like a puppy whose owners had just abandoned him. Oh. It's his vacation, but he's stuck in the castle doing work. And that's sad. Oh. Well, he has a lot on his plate trying to deal with the aftermath of the destructive phenomena that struck the three worlds. Yeah, aren't you his right hand? Why is it so nice that you get to go on vacation and not help him clean up with that mess? I've been doing whatever I can to help him from here, but I can only do so much. Why don't you go back then, huh? <laughs> oh. Ah. Ah. I can't, I can't actually drink the water. That kind of sucks. <laughs> 
Let's see. Um. We all know Giovello misses him. Maybe it's funnier if I point that out than asking him. Since he's prideful, he probably won't admit it. So I'm just gonna point out the obvious. Uh, Diavolo misses you, you know? <laughs> yes, he won't stop telling me, actually. He texts me every morning and every night. <laughs> Yare, yare. I don't think he really wants to see me, though. He just wants to come to the human world, and he's hoping I'll help him persuade Barbatos to say yes. I think you should help him. Mm -mm. Okay, everyone. Your attention, please. Nah. On the way home from the nail salon today, I noticed that this cafe nearby just finished renovating. They're having their grand opening tomorrow. So, does anyone want to come with me? I'm telling you, it looked like a fantastic place. Huh? Ah, man! That sounds boring. Pass. <coughs> Belfi and I are going to this all-you-can-eat restaurant tomorrow. Hmm. Yeah, sorry. I already told Beal I go with him. <coughs> Beal's already starting to mark. Mark them restaurants. Eat everything. Nah. Lavinark, you'll come with me, right? Come on, you have to. If you can get these lo lollipops from sticking into my neck. <laughs> Who threw that? You're trying to kill me. <laughs> literally disable my vocal cords. <laughs> Asmo, I'd love to go with you. Help. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute, Lavinark. I love that you don't try to hide how much you adore me. You're dying to spend more time with me, aren't you? <laughs> but don't worry, Kay, because the feeling is mutual. Oh, by the way, the name of the cafe is... <laughs> the Angel's Halo. It was the wind. Mm-hmm. The wind just so happened to fling it <laughs> directly into my throat. <laughs> Oi, we've got a side split chapter here. Battle to the death, round two. <laughs> Listen up, all of you. I take it I don't need to tell you how serious this is, do I? This is the sort of problem that will test our bonds as brothers. Um. Yeah, he's right. We may have managed to decide who's doing what chores on which day. But this is even more serious. We all know that we can't keep doing things as we have been. <coughs> it's a volatile situation, despite the candy and cats. And worst case scenario, it could erupt into a bloodbath. Bath. <laughs> Excuse me. Some of us could even be killed. And if that were to happen, it could even destabil destabilize the entire devil dumb. Huh? Well, you're not helping things by standing here preaching on and on about how serious this is. The last time you did that, you started a fight that nearly destroyed the House of Lamentation, remember? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> That's right. You don't know, do you, Lavinark? Also, it's okay, Hiki. Everyone will forget. They usually forget. Later. <laughs> you don't know what happened between the seven of us back then. Ah. Uh. We need to settle this now, before it's too late. Oh. It's time. Time to decide the bathroom order. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like... This is so stupid. Can't everyone just take a bath whenever they feel like it? I mean, really? <laughs> when you have so many people, Asma, I don't really think you get that liberty anymore. And not just if you have a lot of people. If you have someone that really takes takes their time with a dumpy... You don't- you don't understand. Arks, I think we need to decide a bathroom order. Oi! Hey! I don't want to hear it from you! 
You have got the luxury of having a private bathroom, so shut it. Yeah, and it's not like you ever let us use your bath. Wow. Eh? Excuse me, of course I don't let you use it. Why should I? <laughs> After all, it's my private bathroom. Oh, but I'm happy to let you use my bath, Lavinark. Just go right ahead, okay? I kind of might actually take you up on that offer. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the matter at hand. It's time to decide the order. Order? The order? Order of the Phoenix? I mean, I take it you are, you're all too prepared for what's to come? Ah. <laughs> uh. Yep. Time for another rock, paper, scissors tournament. You guys really just settle everything with John Ken. Damn. Okay. <laughs> this time, I'm coming out on top. Well, all right then. I think I'll go take a nice long bath. Wow, way to rub it in. Wow. Mm. Wow, this really was a serious John Ken. You guys are ridiculous. Yay! Belfie, I can't believe you actually called forth the forbidden dark specter of despair. I mean, who does that? Well, it's because I won't let anyone else be the first to take a bath, okay? What if you sleep through your bath time? You're just holding everyone else up, Belfie. Uh, I feel like my insides have turned inside out. <laughs> Lucifer be panting! <laughs> well, I take it that's settled now. No one has any complaints. Mm -mm. Mm, wow, that felt so good. I just love a nice warm bath! Wait, what's this? Don't tell me you're still working out the order thing. Shut up, Basmo! <laughs> Y'all, you're right. Why can't you just get, like, a main bathroom and then, like, a guest bathroom? I don't know why y'all have still just one bathroom. That's awful. That's horrible. Mm, no thanks. Dude. That's lesson 42. Let's see if we've got a, a chapter in hard mode. Yep, looks like we do. What do we got? What do we got? Do we have foreshadowing for next week? The curiosities of the human world. Mm. Hey, Satan. What's this? Hmm? Hmm? What's what? Mm. Look. This thing on the counter. I have a feeling we're not gonna get foreshadowing for what's about to happen next week's reading. But I am looking forward to Satan trying to, uh, confidently tell everyone what stuff is supposed to be. <laughs> Satan's acting like Ariel from The Little Mermaid here. <laughs> huh. Good question. I'm not really sure, but the fact that it's in the kitchen must mean it's something used for cooking. <sighs> but the question is, how do you use it? Hold it. Maybe it's a pot? It does sort of look like one, but it's clearly no ordinary pot. <sighs> Feel. Come on, don't eat it. Eh? I'm not eating it. I just thought I'd nibble on it a bit. Beal's okay to nibble. Beal's, Beal's being a gentleman when he nibbles. Hmm? Okay, then what's this? Here. It must be something else used for cooking, right? Yup. Hmm. I'm guessing it's some sort of appliance that heats things up. Yeah. Things? Like, what kinds of things? I'm not really sure, but maybe eggs and stuff? Eating up eggs? You trying to make a chicken? Hmm. Oh, I s I've seen machines that do that. 
They artificially warm eggs to get the baby chicks inside to hatch, right? Y'all wanting to make a whole ass chicken. Oh. Uh, okay. I guess that would come in handy when you've got eggs, but you're more in the mood for chicken. <laughs> So, does that mean that people eat baby chicks here? That's so sad. Belfie, what do you think chicken... chicken is... chicken is for? I mean, we don't eat the chicks, that's not enough. That's not en... <laughs> that's not enough. Ah! Uh. Well, when you're not sure what something does, you should just turn it on and see what happens. Watch. I'll just press this button here and... Nani? Guys, it started spinning. Wakatta. Aha. That tells me all I need to know. <gasps> is he gonna is he gonna be detectiving? Oh yo 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 yo, where's my detective stuff really quick? Ow. Alright. I think we're gonna be detectives today. In the last chapter. Whether that's true or not. I didn't struggle so hard to put a pipe on Sheep Chan for us not to at least look the look the part. Just a question, just a question. Okay, yeah, 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 go for it. I'm all ears. If I see, if I can... You guys might have to at me when chat's going hard sometimes, but I don't mind asking questions. Am I blue cheese or shiny cheese? I'm not really sure the context. But if we're talking about like actual blue cheese, I don't like blue cheese. So I guess I'd have to go with shiny. Oh, I need to reset myself too. Get back in my corner. There we go. Okay. It's all Satan needs to know. This device is for heating soup. Ah. It's the soup device. Eh? Soup. Ah. Uh. That's right. See? It mixes the soup while heating it up so it warms evenly. Oh, blue hair is blue cheese, shiny cheese is shiny jacket. I have both at the moment, but I guess I would be a blue cheese if uh, I was only with my white dress. And this outfit says, why not both? It'd be all the cheese. Hmm. So it is a microwave. <laughs> ah, I get it. When you heat soup in the microwave, sometimes the surface ends up hot, but the center is all cold, right? Yo! Stop talking about soup. I can't take it. You're making me hungry. Hey, Beale. Come on, wipe the drool from your mouth. Hey. Wait a minute. What's this booklet here? Ice cream maker instruction manual. Oh. Quickly, Satan. Satan. You you got to you got to push it. Push push it further. <sighs> I'm moldy. No. I don't want to be moldy. I get enough amount of sunlight and darkness. Did you say Ice cream maker. <laughs> so we could make ice cream right here at home and eat it. Ugh, Beal, come on. There's no need to start crying. Hmm? Okay, so where is this ice cream make maker function? <gasps> Prove it to me. <laughs> I, I want to see evidence. Hmm. Good question. <laughs> Help, I don't know what to do! Oh, I'm being 
chased by this, this weird flat disc thingy. Weird flat disc thingy. <sighs> Curious. I can't explain it. Wait, are you, did Lucifer like pick out this house without thoroughly like examining what all was in it or something? It creeps across the floor, zigzagging in random directions. From the whirring sound it makes, I assume it must be some sort of appliance. Y'all got a free Roomba with your purchase. <laughs> It's a robotic pet. You're not that far off, Asmo. <sighs> a pet. What sort of pet? We don't need any more pets. Cerberus is all we need. Hmm. A giant cockroach, maybe? Ew. Why would you suggest that? I didn't think cockroach was even in your vocabulary, Asmo. Cockroaches have legs. This doesn't. <laughs> uh, Kiki, you could have gotten off better with uh, saying uh, boomerang. I thought Mammon threw it at Levy. Yeah. <laughs> the disrespect. I don't believe it. Satan, do you recognize this thing? Oh. I do. I've seen one of these on Devil Tube. He's blushing. Man's blushing. Have you seen cats write on it? Please tell me you've seen the cats writing on the Roombas, Satan. There was the cat writing on it! Satan's been learning about human appliances via cat videos. Oh. Oh. Hmm? A cat. Whoa. Wait, so you're saying this is a vehicle for cats? It's totally a vehicle for cats. Right, guys? That's what they're for. <laughs> yore, yore. Hmm. To think that they'd actually invent something like that here. We need it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Now you have to get a cat. You have to get a cat while you're in the human world. Humans really are bizarre creatures, aren't they? <laughs> so that means you're getting a cat, right? <laughs> you can't just leave it like that. That was good. Okay, well, no teasers about what the reading for next week is going to be. But I thoroughly enjoyed that extra hard mode chapter. I wish Satan had the audacity to slip in there and be like, okay, so this came with the mansion, right? That means we have to have a cat. We can't just toss this out. It was free. I mean, we don't waste free things, right? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Dang it. Dang it. I want to read some okay, more, but I really help. shouldn't. We've already been going for uh, four and a half hours. That's like double the time I think I would usually read for um season two. But let's quickly go to this the tea time chat. Let's see. Let's have a little tea break. A little tea break tea break and some some chatting uh, uh, i think we're due for that where's my tea table tea table wait do i have to save my settings each time now let me double check you can't do this to me it did it did okay i'm gonna have to make sure to hit save on my table, please. Thank you. Can I give chat pats? Yes, I can. Give me one moment. I'm gonna make sure to save uh, my settings before I forget. Before I forget. 
save settings and graphs. Settings have been saved. Let me unmonocle and detective myself at least. Cheap Chan can keep the um dash. Um, and Asmo is screaming at me, so uh, I'm gonna tell Asmo to be quiet. <laughs> All right, where's my pat? Where's my pat hand? Oop. It's on Stella. I'll move it over, though. Oop. Okay. So those were lessons 41 and 42 of OG Obey Me Main Story, the start of season three. What'd you guys think of it? The audacity that they have to just show up, you know? I was pretty stunned at how quickly they were just like, Yeah, we're coming. We're coming. Have some lunch. You, have, you had steak? Ah, oh, steak sounds good. I haven't had steak in quite a while. Steak is expensive. Expensive. I think the closest thing would be uh, steak and shake because of their steak burgers spiel. For, for us. It was chaotic. You loved it. Yeah, it was a good in intro. It was a good intro. Uh, definitely a bit different from uh, season two, where we were, where, where, I don't know if it's as good as, as the opening for season two, considering uh, the, the whole gold hellfire newt syrup was was the first thing that happens in season two. So everyone had to be like, you know, stay away from me. Stay away from us. We are the horny for season two. That, uh, the contrast would be more like, they're more open about it. But I think all the brothers are starting to realize that everyone else is also. Though they're a little more like, uh, they're a little more, um, trying to, trying to move in and, and try and get their feelings out before anyone else does, it seems. Hellfire Newt Surf was your everything. Yeah, they did really good with that section for season two. But, uh, we just got a little more settled in with the- with the boys here, now that they're here in the human world with us. So, y'all free to eat what's ever on the table. It'll respawn again next time. You're gonna leave, it's 11.30, so you're gonna take a break. Have a good break, Yukina. Thank you for sticking it out with us. Always enjoy your company, though. So. Have a good one. But yes, I, uh, I'm looking forward to season three. I like having everyone in the human world. It's a little bit more of a, definitely more of a vacation vibe we got going on here for this season. What are we going to do about Lucy making us eat Solomon's food? Hmm, good question. Should probably punish him next reading, shouldn't we? Shouldn't we? have to think about it. I'm gonna have to think very hard about it. I wonder if I can get him to come on as a guest. Like we did when he was, uh, uh, for the, um, for the stage, for the stage play in season two. We have to punish him, though. Your temperature, you're at... 36.6 points and last night was 37.8. Well, that's good, it's going down. You're on the road to recovery, Kizan. That's good to hear. I feel bad about Diavolo for staying in the, the Devil Dumb alone. Barbatos can't contain him forever. Barbatos cannot contain him forever. You have evil ideas now. Share with the class by all means. 
especially since I'm a Satan simp, I definitely have that part of me that uh, likes to see Lucifer trip. <laughs> I like to tease. I like to tease Lucifer and I want to see him trip. Trip up. You're gonna drink his Demonis in front of him. Hmm. Secret stash. Take his secret stash. Hmm. I don't know. I could throw him upside down for next stream. Give him a good taste of his own medicine for a bit. <laughs> Let's see if I can't find an upsetty Lucifer image and just throw him upside down for the stream next week. That's probably what I'll do. The only thing I can think of off the top of my head that would be quick enough for me to be able to do in preparation. He really threw me for a loop. I didn't think he'd throw us under the bus like that along with them. He's getting a little too comfortable. Give him the mammon treatment. Yeah. It's about time. We still have not seen the angels, though. But I have a feeling we're going to see them next week. You think if we can finally have a pact with Diavolo and Barbatos in future lessons of Nightbringer? That is the question. I've always been interested in the possibility of getting a pact with Barbatos and Diavolo. I feel like getting a pact with Barbatos might be easier than Diavolo because he's already pacted with Solomon. Solomon has packs with him and Asmo. Uh, but, I, I mean, I don't really know how the Nightbringer story is going because I'm not reading it, but I have a feeling just based off of how it started, uh, since I did read lesson one on stream when it came out, like the day it released, that it's probably not really going to be addressed. Um. I've just kind of resigned myself personally to being okay with not making a pact with Diavolo because of the way Diavolo wants everyone to, to be on equal footing and see or like recognize everyone, like all species, uh, that they should be um, on the same like level as everyone and not think higher of of themselves and everything that it would make more sense to not make a pact with Diavolo you'd definitely entertain the idea because of how it's progressing hmm hmm bad internet right now ah curses First, the bad internets. Well, I just wanted to see everybody's thoughts so far. I think it was a cute, cute, cute introduction into season three. Definitely seems like this season's gonna lean a lot more on shenanigans as a forefront uh, compared to seriousness. The only seriousness we know so far is Solomon wants us to get good. Get good. Contain your power. Control your power. You're a wizard, I mean sorcerer, MC Chan. You're a sorcerer, in MC Chan. Time to get sorted, I mean time to do your license. Or prep, prep for your license. Yeah. Happy that you uh, guys were also able to catch live. Again, sorry about the connection issues. I guess, I guess uh, OBS was saying, hey, your settings before won't, weren't, wasn't broke. They weren't broke, so don't change it. <laughs> it's really forcing me to try and con to consider going back to my other settings. I think I'll just do that. Bleh. But, yeah. 
anyone have any questions or anything? I guess I'll open Q&A. Otherwise, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get some soup or something. All this talk about soup and pasta. There was always bound to be scuff, yes. If you're a VTuber, always ex expect scuff. If you're, ex if, if, you, if you're just a streamer, still expect scuff, but not as often as a VTuber, I feel like. Just gotta embrace it at this point. Still have a good time, though. That's the main point. Fun time scuffing. But also expect cats. I try my best to have as a cat. You really just here. Our sleepy, comfy gremlin. <gasps> you haven't spilled your water. Oh my goodness. Maybe if you tell Barbatos, he'll let Diavolo leave for the human world early. That is new. It's because you, you cut yourself. Maybe. Well, you know, oopsies, accidental. That's, you know. Look at this girl. Stella, are you going to tell chat bye? Huh? Are you going to tell chat bye? The reading's over, honey. Do you want do you want to tell everyone good night? Hmm? Hmm? She's too sleepy. I might have to do it for her. Yeah, hi, baby. You want to tell chat good night, huh? You tell chat good night. She's like, you seriously woke me up for this. Did you seriously wake me up for this? Oh, <gasps> big yawn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lickies, yes! The stream is now blessed. You had fun that you forgot about being sick? Ah! That's good. I'm glad to provide you with some entertainment, Kizan. Happy to have you with us. Yeah, work tomorrow, so goodbye. Have a good rest. Yes! We are going to wrap it up here, too, so... Thank you guys for joining us today. Mary Gold, everyone, have a good rest of your today if it's nighttime for you. Have a good sleep. Take care of yourselves. Um, as for schedule right now, um, it'll be out tomorrow, as it usually is. But we will be continuing the main story same time next week. So, bye bye, everybody. Take care. Eat some soup with an ice cream maker. <laughs> Bye, Abby.